Hello and welcome to a game of Gloomhaven, uh, being played by myself, Matt Lees and Quentin Smith on Shut Up and Sit Down. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. That's no, I thought you... Can I have one? Uh, thanks. Um, I am uh, looking forward to this. I've reviewed this game on our YouTube channel. You may have seen the review. It's way too long, as is Gloomhaven. <laughs> uh, and it's also fantastic. And we were talking on the stream last time that people were like, Hey, has Quinn's played it? And Quinn's like, I know. I can get Matt to bring around to my house. And I did. Admittedly in a wheelie suitcase, because it's huge. It's 10 kilos? I don't know. It's too heavy. Uh, I am excited. I've not played this before, but Matt gave me the rundown. We've done another video, which is Matt basically bringing a new player up to speed if they're not going to run the game and yep. kind of be walked through. So just the very basics that you need to know to play. And you are going to be playing a Spellweaver. I am indeed. Effectively, 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 uh, a uh, lady She's made a crystal of crystals lady. who casts spells. I am a rat. Also a lady rat. Um, I am a mind thief, which means I'm basically a psychic rat that makes things do makes people do things they don't want to do. Uh, I've also got some boots and a dagger. So <laughs> just watch it. And a potion. And yeah. So I'm jumping into your campaign here. Yep. You have been playing the game of Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven is a massive long campaign. Blows everyone's minds. In the game of Gloomhaven, you win or you stop. And, <laughs> <laughs> has anyone ever actually... I, don't, I have never heard of anyone even finishing Gloomhaven. People do. Okay. There's an expansion coming. I don't know. Oh yeah, for. that's right. I don't know who it's for. Uh, so I'm leaping into your campaign. Mm -hmm. I am joining as Paphia Pedium. I mm -hmm. didn't name this character. Clark, our friend did. Yep. Um, and we're going on an adventure. Yep. So this, the adventure we're playing now, will permanently impact your campaign. Yeah, I think I've actually tried this one before and we failed. Um, so oh, we sorry. didn't get to take no, it off as thing. Sorry. But this is the level is called Enoch's Encampment. So what are we uh, doing in the world of Doom? So uh, in this one, this is the very early mission in the game, maybe the second or third, um, where it's kind of not linear. I mean, for those of you who are not familiar, there's a massive board, which is I'll like the world it. map. Um, wherever that is. It doesn't really matter. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It is cool. So I guess it matters in that regard. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's just so stupid. I love it. <laughs> So that it comes with this massive, and then you put stickers on when you unlock locations, and then sometimes stickers get added because of random cards you drew, and random things, and then sometimes it's just like the mind boggles. Basically, you complete a mission, it'll unlock two new ones, and you can kind of go off on and that. And each sticker line. is a place you can visit. Yeah, each sticker is a place you can visit, and you cross them off when you've done them. And then each sticker has, has story elements, and then there's like global achievements that you unlock, which allow you to unlock new missions. But functionally, the game would be the same if it didn't have this map. Uh, I mean, not emotional. No, no. I mean, it, it, it's just a cool extra. It's really cool. It doesn't need to be this cool, basically. <laughs> yeah. It but that's been... Gloomhaven all over, right? Yeah, basically. Um, but effectively, we've been given a job to go and uh, make an example of some people who've been raiding caravans. So, so this merchant wants to make an example of some caravan raiders. Seems reasonable enough. For the right amount of money, almost anything can be made reasonable. You enter the Dagger Forest and begin to track down the, the, Dagger, the Forest? Dagger Forest. Why are we going there? That seems dangerous. And begin to track down the encampment using Jexera, who is the merchant who hired us. Her Jexera's crude map. It is well hidden, but following the signs outlined on the parchment, you find a dense cluster of huts in a small clearing of the forest. All that's left is a head in. Is to head in, and make that requested example. So they want an example made of these folk because they attacked caravans. Well, then they can't do that. Yeah, and this is the start of the Gloomhaven mission. I'm just going to say this is an early mission. It's mission three in the game, which means uh, there may be some story spoilers, but uh, it's still very early in the campaign. All the characters we're using are base characters and things special about that, so that's fine. Um, yeah. And, what, uh, what am I looking at here? There's vines and there's some things that look like bear traps? Yeah, so um, things that look like... They're no, not bear traps. No. They're, they're just statues. They're just oh, walls, cool. but they're just cool walls. Okay. Um, and then these thorns, effectively, I think, uh, may hurt you and also make it more difficult to move through them. I need to check the manual. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I'm going to look at my Spellweaver cards. Sounds good. Because I haven't actually looked at them yet. Oh, hey, if you're watching this, by the way, we're going to point this out a few times, but uh, we have put up a thing on the website, literally yesterday. Um, we are running an internship program. <laughs> or trying to, hopefully. <laughs> After <laughs> and, uh, I feel like... When you when you and I are messing around and drinking, and then we start talking about an internship program, it, it <laughs> seems like a joke, or like we're you misguided. You could do this too. You too could sit in front of a camera and uh, make Christopher Brat read things. Uh, no, uh, shut up and sit down. You know we've got a bunch of subscribers now. We are uh, doing uh, okay-ish as, as a business, and we'd like to pay it forward. So if mm. you would like to work with us throughout 2019, we're going to be running uh, an internship program. 
Uh, all the application details are on the front page of the site right now. Uh, we'll probably put that into like a little sticky permanent button on the front page. Um, but yeah, uh, if you think you've got what it takes to work for Shut Up and Sit Down, if you'd like to be paid to come and work with us and learn a thing about what we do yeah. and maybe take a first step towards working with us permanently yeah because uh paul has moved on to pastures new yep. and uh matt and i are going to need some to make some new friends yeah it's funny we, work. we both started out like i worked full-time on a magazine you worked freelance but you kind of hung around with magazine offices a lot and there was always a wicked culture of like just getting to hang out with people who knew a bit more about that industry and stuff you just end up picking up so much from them and now that kind of office culture has sort of disappeared a little bit in creative fields and it's all much more individualistic and channels we thought it'd be really cool so you know if you like the idea of being paid to basically come and learn a little bit about lots of different things because uh, we know quite a lot about stuff at some point we became very knowledgeable about this job we invented for ourselves yeah of talking about board games on the internet so if yeah. you'd like a career talking about games on the internet or specifically board games, either way, uh, then yeah, do get in touch and all the details are on shutupandsitdown.com. Yep. My friend <laughs> figured out about thorns. Yep. Hazardous terrain, baby. It's hazardous. Okay. Um, so basically, each hex, if you move in by a normal or force movement, a hex will inflict half the damage of a trap rounded down. The damage of a trap in this mission is four. So it does two. Every time you get forced into that, anything gets forced into that, enemies as well, two damage. Okay. However, if you fly or jump, you can jump over them. Jump? So, yeah, you can, can I jump? jump? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Maybe you can fly. Jump, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I, I have can... no idea. Like, you can fly or jump over most things. Uh, the only thing you can't fly or jump over are like... Uh, I can jump! Sweet. I have one card that lets me jump. It's like, uh, like I'm playing a sort of platform game, but a really violent one. Yeah. I love the way we've arranged the miniatures that your experience rat has kicked up in the door and my enormous crystal lady is kind of just hanging out a bit behind you. Not really feeling herself just yet. Okay. Um, and then finally, uh, key thing is these like totems here in the middle yeah. uh, are basically uh, obstacles which you can't move through them but ranged attacks can go through them. Which yeah. means this guy with an archer thing, oh boy, he's going to shoot us with arrows. Finally, You've said the word finally like <laughs> 10 times. This is Gloomhaven. Yep. <laughs> uh, finally, um, we have to get to point one on the map, which is here. Oh, that's our objective? Our objective is that. It says, until door one is opened, one normal Inox guard spawns at A, which is... Wait. Um, here. Basically, a guard will keep spawning here at the end of every odd round. And that's it. That's the end of that sentence. I didn't intone as if that sentence was going there, but it did. Okay, um, so our objective is to get with... When we open that door, then something will happen. But until then, a guard is going to keep spawning in front of that door. Um, it's almost as if there are guards coming from that door. And our goal in the mission is easy. Kill a number of enemies equal to five times the number of characters. So we've got to, just got to kill ten people. What could be easier than Taking killing ten, lives. ten people? Jesus. Well, that's five each. So that's five a lot each. more manageable out yeah. of the gate. It's not a competition. <laughs> is it not? Or is it? <laughs> I mean, sometimes it literally is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, now, after an hour of... <laughs> like an hour and a half of prep. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to take good. my first turns in the game of Gloomhaven. Yeah. Okay. In the game of Gloomhaven, you gloom or you lose. Are the people at home ready to see some spells being weaved by my spell weaver? Uh, it would appear so, yes. Oh, thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it was mostly rhetorical, but now... You pointed. You literally pointed at me as you said it. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll try and not bother you with that many questions out of the gates. Okay. <laughs> Just fall into like <laughs> fall into deep silence. silence. <laughs> Is that the Wii Shop music? Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I'm just going to rock and roll, I think. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, because you said we could speak vaguely about the cards we're going to play, right? So I could say, I would like to rock and roll, please. Yeah, you can do okay. that. Okay. Uh, I want to rock and roll. Do it every day. That's Kiss. The band Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> just a little... Uh, I believe that's royalty free. I believe you can listen to that uh, for free. Oh, wait, I'm not in range of this yet. Okay. Ace Rumble says, ah, yes, and now comes the choosing cards portion of Gloomhaven. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, 
Do we? Is it you always do the top bit and then the bottom bit? Uh, yeah, top of one, bottom of the other. Okay, 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 okay. And I have made my choice. Okay. And the cool thing about this, another cool thing, is you can choose like that, then that, right? Yeah. But if then when it comes to your turn, you think that's nonsense, that's not going to do anything, you can, you still can swap use it. Oh, you can You don't swap have to choose it. ahead of time. It's just when the card's flipped over. Like, when you actually temp come thing, you can choose either or. That creates an incredibly high score. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to worry about that. It just means that, like, you just choose what you're going to do, but then sometimes you look at it and go, oh, what I was going to do is worthless now. But then you go, oh, wait, I can do the other thing, and that kind of works. Okay, let's try this. I'm just going to try this on foot... No, hang on, sorry. I'm <laughs> full of doubt. I am full of, full of some doubt. I'm full of doubt. Duh, duh. I just do not know. No. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready as well. Uh, I'm, because I'm, I know what I'm doing. I'm a confident spell weaver. Okay, so what is your initiative, sir? I so it uses the top bit. Uh, you choose the initiative. You I want. would like to go real slow. I would like sixty-six. To sixty-six. Be my oh, I'm going for seventy-five. So we're both. So... We kick in the door and then stand there, kind of just going. waiting for evening something to happen. Gentlemen, evening. please let the Mac before us. Let the round begin. Ba -da -la 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 -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, they all do. That's good. I'm happy about my life choices. I'm happy with that as well. So first up in uh, today's um, cavalcade of badness, we have on the, you can see on the app, we have uh, the Enox archers who are going to move and then attack. And Matt, how expensive is this app? Uh, this app is absolutely ridiculously expensive. <laughs> is it really? No, it's completely free. Okay. <laughs> it's a bad joke. It's a bad joke. Um, yeah, which means basically... These archers are going to move one and then attack three with a range of three. And that's going to go one and, and then, then attack with a range of three. Oh no, I can't hit anyone. <laughs> uh, next up on the roller coaster of baddies, we have an Enoch's guards. Should I be sort of like paying attention to roughly how they act because they're going to be doing similar stuff? Well, no, because the thing is, like each of these rounds is as if we're drawing from a deck because we're literally replacing. Yes, that's the, but it's like out. I can vaguely intuit that like the archers might move a bit and then shoot. Yeah, archers are basically going to shoot you with arrows, uh, whereas guards are going to like hit you with stuff. Here's the thing. It's just like right? real life. Here's the thing. I've never actually fought these enemies. I oh, know I have because I played this mission once. Here's the thing. You can't remember. I can't remember <laughs> what these enemies do. Now, I fought other archers who do things. I don't remember what the shaman does. Okay. We'll find oh, out. Oh, so the, the elite is a shaman? It's an elite shaman, yeah. Elite me alone, you're thinking. Well, he won't. Uh, these guys are going to move two and then attack three. Uh-oh. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh, this is... Uh, this is I've got to say, this... Uh, wow. This map... Uh, uh, shows an interesting element of Gloomhaven <laughs> in that some of the maps <laughs> are rubbish. It's an annoying thing where sometimes the big rooms it just you have to just put things together and then cover it up like like you're like the worst builder in the world. <laughs> like you're just like oh, just that patio is now part of this kitchen. Just putting a piece of stone just on putting top of a the bit floor. of like balsa wood over the, that's, not, <laughs> that's not a, a patio. Um, it's fine, you get over it, but it's it's pretty dumb. Um, so that guy is going to attack me for a value of three, which means we need the monster deck. And I'm just actually, for the purposes of uh, things, I'm going to put the monster deck over here. And this monster is going to attack na, 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 me. Na. Plus zero. I should have done that sideways because that is how cameras work. Plus zero. Um, that means he does three damage to me. Uh, straight off the bat, I'm going to say that's not great. <laughs> Love that we've, Matt, before this uh, video started, taught me how to play Gloomhaven for like, you know, something like 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the idea that it's like, I've been looking to you as my guide and then a man run up, punched you in the mouth. I no longer feel good about my life choices. No, I mean, I don't feel great either. I have eight health in total and now I have five. <laughs> uh, so it's, uh, I mean, we're both, we're both kind of spellcasters. So we're gonna see what happens here. Um, it's fine though, it's fine, don't panic. You have a potion. Um, no, you don't. We gave it to a guard. Yeah, we gave... Oh, but that, that potion didn't actually heal health, folks. Oh, it heals stamina cards, yes. It heals yes, stamina yes, cards, which is great for you because you are a glass cannon. So the more cards you can get back from your You can have a long pile. rest. <laughs> the thing about a long rest is <laughs> it's your whole go and you get back two health. So it's like, <laughs> it's fine providing, like... You're not like here. Because otherwise it's like, I'll just have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kill him, kill him. Okay. All right. Um, next up we have uh, the shaman who is uh, an elite shaman. So it's going to move three and then attack three at range three. But that's fine because it's like one, two, three. Uh, you move them around the staff. You're kind of roughly... Well, I, you see, I don't know. He's No, he has a kind of staff. I mean, I think he's just going to move... 
Basically, unless they're an archer, unless they're specifically someone who can like clearly they move in the shortest distance, they're gonna move to try and get to you. So okay. I think maybe that guy should have actually moved. One, two, three. Then that makes more sense. Okay. Cool. Um, so and now for... I'm 66. Let's go. Yeah. Well so then. right. So I I think if I put them on this, I can't read them. <laughs> yeah. But... No. No. Don't worry about that. Like I mean, this isn't. I, I set this up for mainly teaching the game a little bit. Okay. Um, this is not a kind of showing cards game, really. Okay. Well, uh, I'm using the top bit of icy blast. Oof. Uh, now this card's gonna go in the bin afterwards, so let's hope it's a good one. So I'm guessing that means it like explode the the exciting hexagon thing. I'm kind of counting on it exploding outwards. Yeah, I think it does. So basically, you you just get to choose uh, within range. What's the range on it? Three. Yeah, within range three, you can just make that. I, think I can pick a hex. Of it. Yeah, you can right. pick it. So if I just fire it right behind them yep, then with my icy blast, it's an icy blast. It's going to be range three. Uh, it's going to do. It's going to muddle those boys. It's going to do two damage. They're going to be muddled. They're not going to know what's going on. Matt, don't worry. I've got this. That's fantastic. I told you That's I was going to make an impact in your Gloomhaven campaign. And already, I am. So. Um, yeah, no, sorry. I no, didn't I was, no, I was just going to talk more about why I'm great. Uh, so, that's ice symbol there. So, so I'm going to charge up the ice infusion <laughs> on the room infusion There's something chart. indescribably nerdy about saying, I'm going to charge the ice infusion. I'm charging the ice infusion. And then turning right to face a computer. If my wife sees this, she might divorce me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just going to... I no. need to leave. Uh, right. <laughs> what have we become? <laughs> What's this two star? I get to experience. You get to experience, yeah, so you put that on your wheel. Oh, my experience, your experience wheel. wheel. No, 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 I'm joking, mate. This is who I am. I don't care. This is brilliant. Okay, um, uh, so then it's going to do attack two. Do I draw a different card for each monster? Uh, I actually don't remember that. Let's say... Let's ask chat. No, look, I can do other things on this card. And chat yeah, let's ask chat. That's, that's With a blast chat. attack, am I, am I uh, drawing a different card for each monster? Or not? Uh, do you want to muddle those guys? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember how to muddle people. <laughs> there we are. Nice. Muddle, 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 muddle. Ooh. Okay, the fine. answer is yes. You yeah. do. Okay, here I go. Right. So this is uh, Enoch number one. Oh, that's right. Minus one. It's because you took all the zeros out of your deck, you crazy man. Okay, that's going to do one damage to number one, please, Bob. Okay, fine. I'm going to do... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so that's minus two. So no damage. No damage number to two. person number two. Person number three. Hey, Plus three damage. Three damage. Bomb. How about that? Okay, cool. Uh, now Icy Blast is gone in the bin. These guys have nine health each, by the way. What? Yeah, so they're pretty tough. I, f I feel worried that that was... Never before on a shot of a board game stream have I shouted so loudly I'm worried I've called peaking on the microphone. Yeah, I'm worried you've like alerted your neighbours. <laughs> the police here in a minute. <laughs> um, right, but then I've got another card. Uh, I use do. the bottom of the other one, right? Yep. So that's just move four. <laughs> it's just the GTFO. I can just leave, right? Can I go, yep. can I go like... One, can I move through you? Yes, you can. One, two, three, four, into the corner. Yeah. Because then if they want to come to me, then they're going to step yeah, in. Yeah, moving through me is free. Moving through enemies costs you two movement That's points. like all board games ever. Yeah, I, I think that's true, unless I just remember that from another board game, which is entirely possible. But don't worry, man, I muddled them. What does muddling do? So muddling is just a kind of like... Blah, 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 blah. Um, reverses your controls. That's on it, yeah. Video games. You go, oh, I hate this mechanic. Why I really they... hate I reverse hate it, controls. Yeah. I hate that. Unless they do it for long enough that you get used to it. Okay, this is a cool mechanic. It's disadvantage on attacks, which means that when you can have, you can develop advantage or disadvantage. Is that like draw two cards and keep them? Yep. That's in Dungeons and Dragons, a little, a little game called DD. A little old game called Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, well, that was not the best icy blast, but I've sort of fired my blast here, and then I've run into a corner and I've sort of said, you can deal with this. Okay, so I'm looking at this now, and the one we've de hurt the most is number three. Um, however, I'm now wondering if I've like I need to I need to sort of move away a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend this card to effectively. Do you mind if I? Uh, and I mean no offense. While you're taking your turn, just read all of my cards. Yeah, no, absolutely do okay. that. Absolutely do that. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to have the thing on the stream of like. I had to teach you the game a bit so you get it anyway and I want to do it on the stream, but this is very much a game where you just be like, I need to do this now. <laughs> um, I feel like that and I've played with these cards. It's before. awesome though, because I have so many options and they're all exciting. In fact, this is a really good example. What I was going to do on my turn was I was actually going to spend this cool power thing to just do a normal two movement just to, so I wouldn't lose the card and then I was going to do a, a buff to make my next attack better. But actually, because this guy is right next to me, I'm actually just going to hit a guy full on in the face Ooh. and hope I don't get killed the next turn. Is this symbol D 
discard a blue green. That's discard back. any element to do that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. So uh, actually, because we have some ice magic in the house tonight, hello ice magic. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna do some cool stuff with ice magic. So first of all, I'm gonna go attack one with a wound. Right. So where's my little deck of things? Where's my deck of do you magic? Have that charges gas or wind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you have any recipes? <laughs> I've got a fantastic <laughs> recipe for we, you had it at my house the other day. <laughs> the it's that kind eggs. of thing with like cabbage and turmeric. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, What's uh, that element? And can you produce it? That's wind, I believe. Can you produce wind? Can I produce wind? <laughs> Who's that laughing at the back? <laughs> Who's that laughing at the back? Does he need another bandana? Is that you, Christopher? <laughs> Bandana voice. Can you produce wind or not? This is a life and death I situation. I don't think so. No, I just do a bit of ice on the side. <laughs> okay. that's, that's me, basically. Um, okay, so I am effectively... Dead Lord, I can see why people say don't play this game with four people. Yeah. No, um, so I'm going to now do my first attack, which is just for one damage. Ooh, it's a... Uh, arrow. Arrow and... Oh, that means I push him one back and then go again. But it means that's going to happen afterwards. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Push him back again and then... Hang on, I don't think I shuffled <laughs> That was just some kind of mad, like, shove, step forward, <laughs> like, get away! Okay, I'm just checking this is actually my deck. Yeah, it is, I just haven't shuffled it. Okay, fine. I can shuffle it for you. That's fine. And does that help? Oh, hang on, no, that's, uh, I think they're pull cards, actually. Pull them towards you? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I can... Is that something you built your characters to be able to do? I, I don't know. Did I? I think I did. Why did I do that? <laughs> What is wrong with Are you with sure me? they're not push? You're a spellcaster. Shove. Force target to move closer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Were you a really lonely rat? Like in the last few scenarios? What was... Because I'm not your regular Gloomhaven partner. Did he do things that I... Teach me how to be a better partner to you, Matt. If you want to pull things towards you, I could learn to... Why did I do that? How does that even it's actually checked on your sheet. Yeah, no, I bought this. Why did I buy this? Sorry, I'm really- Add three pulls. <laughs> three of these things. <laughs> Look, let's just, you, this is- No. <laughs> you can wait, they can wait. <laughs> I need to work this out- This is another sign that Matt really likes this game because like any other game would be like, ah, oh, whatever. But in this, it's like, you really care about that, I need to work out what past me was thinking. Somebody said pulling uh, towards you is great if you have traps. Do you have traps? Is that your thing? You into traps? Mm. You into traps. I don't think he's into traps. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be into traps at all. Well, this feels like it only works when I'm attacking something which is like... Ranged? Which is already a ranged attack. And I don't really have any ranged attacks. Unless I feel like I can pull something that isn't next to me, but without a ranged attack. But I don't think I can. Maybe I'll figure it out. There's the... Just give me a quick look. <laughs> Did you play with someone that had traps? I feel like traps are involved in something here. Yeah. Uh, that's fine, I'll work it out. Okay, um, yeah, the chat can work out whether or not they think if I get that, then I can suddenly decide that I'm attacking something which isn't next to me or not. They can work that out. It seems like a really dumb thing to buy though, I'm not sure why I bought that. Anyway. It's exciting, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Okay, let's try and draw another Is one. Is it so you can have melee attacks and things out of range, but then pull them close? And I don't know, that's out. what I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to work out if it's like I draw that and go, oh, I'm gonna choose actually, that guy's gonna get pulled. One towards me. Yeah, so pulling means an enemy has to be closer to you after the pull. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm, but I'm, I'm not. I know that. But yeah. the question just All right, so my first attack is one minus one. That is sweet diddly nothing. Nice. However, two, isn't it? two attacks? No, 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 I'm doing this one first because I've got this time I've got two attacks in one turn. Ooh. Imagine that. It's pretty cool. That's number two, though, and it means number two I'm adding uh, a wound to, so they're going to lose health. Uh, and then I'm going to effectively, uh, my second attack is going to do three damage. Nice. And also, I'm going to spend my ice magic in the room to add a stun. What do you mean your ice? I charged Well, room. it's kind of mine now because I'm using it, so that's the thing. And enemies can use it as well. What? Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate when that happens. So can you switch over to the little camera of the little game now? Because this is a cool thing about the app. <laughs> oh yeah, this is our favorite. When you use an infusion, Click it. Whoa! Oh, it's got effect. You guys are like nine years old. I am like a nine year old. You're quite right. In many ways. So this does three damage and then, oh, muddles, but he's already muddled. And then, oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> three damage. Whatever you've done to your attack deck seems great. It's fine. Three damage. That's not bad. It's not great. Didn't I hurt him already? Uh, no, that was the one you didn't hurt. Oh my gosh. Okay, right. So what happens now? Now, uh, that's the end of the round. 
So we just go again? We just go again. Good, there's no upkeep, there's no... <laughs> the internet's watching, Matt. One no, hundo thousand not, people will watch I, this video. I'm really worried now I'm going to do a bandana, but I don't think... What a prick. Um, I don't think I do. Oh, wicked, I realised. Yeah, I should have had a... Um, on the next two sources of damage from attacks targeting you, gain shield one. I should have actually had a... Because uh, you got some armour. I've got some armour, so I actually only took... I've got six health instead of eight. That's fine. That seems... Okay. That's, that's way better. Okay. okay. <clears throat> and now I'm just waiting for Brat to say I have to wear a bandana because I've forgotten something. Um, it seems okay so far. You're, yes. You're looking good. Presumably... It's just me and Quinn so far. If something says target two, you can't do two attacks on the same person. No. It has to target two different people. Yeah. And they have to be like you know, two people in range. I think you can use a target two, but only a target one person with it, but that's just obviously oh, not do, ideal. Does, um, on this map actually, does an inox need to appear at the end of each? Yep, that's, that's, that's the one thing we need, yeah. Okay. So, I did forget something. Matt is inox patrol. He's an inox guard. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's add another one of these. It's Enoch's guard number four. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. I can kind of, but here's the thing, man. I can see why I, while you're really impressed that I can pull my lost cards back, most of my cards sort of just seem to vaporize as soon yeah, as I no, use them. Yeah, I mean, they're, but they're very powerful. What does retaliate do? Retaliate. Uh, or retaliate means that um, if somebody attacks you um, after that, because it has to be like, oh, got it, got it, got it. Somebody got it. attacks you, then basically you will do that amount of damage to them just okay. instantly. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's this is there's a lot of strategy in this game. There is some, yeah. There is a bit. I cracked up uh, earlier today at uh, it's one of those one of those memes. Did you on Twitter on a meme? Yeah, and it said, uh, "Imagine that you know, at the end of your long life, you pass away, and everything fades to black, and then the next thing you see is a little you hear a little sound effect, and it comes out with a text box saying, you may now play as Luigi, <laughs> and a little picture of Luigi next to it. <laughs> I like that." Anyway, I've put my cards because I'm a wicked spell weaver. I don't know. Chris is enjoying it. it. He's loving life. <laughs> Weaving ain't easy. But I'm having a crack at it. Do you have another beer? Yeah, I'd love another beer. I've still got a little bit in that one, but... Uh... <laughs> Joe Chip says, welcome. You tune into a new episode of Man in Bandanas Reads Cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great show. I love it. This is all chat's fault, by the way, because I really tried to fill during the first stream, and um, people were like, "Just be cool." A couple of comments were like, "No, it adds tension when you fall silent." So now I'm like, "Whatever, I'm gonna take it easy." He says as he goes to get another beer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I picked my cards. Yes, mate. Yeah. Yes, mate. Okay. <laughs> you don't look super confident. I'm not super confident. Let's not be. Let's not be silly. But I feel more confident than I did. I'm just remembering how to play this this character. I, I'm not even that good at playing this character. Oh, thank you. So I was just thinking while I was in the kitchen that I really, really hope because you know lots of people are like tuning in and tuning out mm -hmm. on Twitch all the time. That one person out there turned onto this stream and it was, <laughs> and it was use. It's like, oh, someone's playing Gloomhaven, awesome. And they load up the stream and then they see you <laughs> sat alone <laughs> looking at cards. No, it's better than that because it's you sat silent for 40 seconds and then you just go, ah! <laughs> Gloomhaven experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, whenever I go on Twitch and channel hop it, like, which I don't do very often, I am always astounded by how, how much of streams are just people not really saying anything. I'm like, okay. 
Okay, hang on, wait. Get that beer back. Oh no, you can have the new one. Yeah, I want, I'd like the Here's new the one. Here's the thing. You failed this mission last time. Yep. In all seriousness, let's beat these Inoxes. Good luck. Let's do this. Okay. How, how are you feeling? You feeling good? Mm. Okay. Right. I feel like I can wipe out these early guys, like this wave of dudes who are beating the crap out of you, with uh, some really powerful spells, pick them back up, and then we can methodically work, okay. work our way forwards. I'm feeling... <laughs> Maybe it's just because no one's hit me yet. Have I'm you chosen right. your... Uh, yeah, man. Okay. Let's go. Okay. You ready? Yep. Ready? I'm 16. What are you? I am... Uh, I can be 36. I can do either one, right? You can choose, but you have to choose now. Yeah. I'll... And you're supposed to have chosen already, actually, so... Okay, I'm 36. Okay, because you're supposed to choose before we reveal. Because you'll be like, it's a bit like the mind. You're like, I'm early. And then you're like, I'm early. And you're like, ah, oh, no. I'm... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm 36. Okay, I believe that. You but know. I can still, I can pick 36 and then do either of the tops of the cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It, it doesn't, the, the number of initiative you choose doesn't affect the cards, you're, the, what you're doing with the cards. Nice, okay. Okay, now it's round two. Oh, um, why are they so fast? Yeah, and um, let's just put that down because you have to, so there is some manual upkeep on that, but that's good to know. It's fine. Um, yeah, 8, 15, 16. That is... Why are they so fast? Legit nutso. Uh, so the, the first thing to go I think up, we shouldn't have come here at all. Well, maybe we shouldn't have. Maybe that's true. Maybe we could all learn something from that. However, the Shaman is going to move 3 and then attack 2 at range 3. Um, however, the Shaman is... Golden, yeah. 1, 2. He can't. He's not going to move through the Archer? No, because would, that would be another space and he hasn't got the extra movement for it. I thought, no. Cause oh no, he's got... 1, on. 2, 3. Yes, you're right. Yeah, that's and fine. then three, but he's not in range oh of God, you. Oh God, that beer! The beer's foaming all over the place. Everyone stop listening to what you're saying. Wow. Oh God. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know it's not even worth it. Just don't put any cards there. I think, I think that would have uh, sent the chat into meltdown, I'm sure. Or is it just you? Because <laughs> they can't <laughs> see the it. The chat would have been watching that for the last sixty yeah. seconds. Or Going, so. oh my God. Having played a number of board games in pubs with Quinn's now, like I'm surprised how many jumpers you sacrifice to save the game. Oh, what, just doing this? Yeah. And then you sacri just, you just put you it in the wash. You can wash a jumper, you can't wash a board game. I'll tell you what's <laughs> going to drive people mad, actually. I'm putting together a video uh, this week, uh, next week, uh, for uh, like uh, a list of like really good big party games to play with families at Christmas and holidays and stuff, uh, just because I was trying to sort that out for myself, effectively. I was like, what do I want to play this Christmas with my family and my in-laws? And I was like, oh, I might as well research it for myself. Yeah and then make a video. But a lot of the copies of games which we're recommending, um, like, p some people in the B-roll footage are gonna notice, it's like, some of them are like dirty as hell. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, but it's just because they've like been really loved. They're either copies that have like got out, been got out in my house so many times on Drunken Nights, or they've been ones that we took to GDC. Like, I, oh. one of our copies is something, I think just went to GDC for a week, but then got played with like 60 times. And it's just grubby as anything. But it's like, well, you know, it's love. It's like we've also noticed recently for Shut Up to Down videos, we have to cut our nails. Yeah. Because when you get those really big close ups, you're like, I'm a monster. It's a sign that our tech is getting better that we now have to do that because the yeah. fidelity is good. But that okay. is true. So that's the shaman. He's done his stuff now. Uh, 15, I am. What's that little 16. hand symbol? Uh, that means his attack would cause us to be disarmed. Whoa. Uh, which is uh, cannot attack. Basically means for, for an around, you cannot attack. What? Yeah, it's pretty bad, right? But it didn't happen, so, you know, that's good for us. That guy's only got, um, uh, he's got, oh, I was gonna say that guy's only got, he's only got 11 health, <laughs> which, considering he's an elite unit, is actually pretty good. Um, that's not too bad. I don't like any of this. No, I don't like it either. Uh, we got an Enoch's guard, his action is shield one, and then retaliate two. Uh, no, sorry, yep, yep, shield one, retaliate two, which means basically, um, these guys will block a point of damage when we attack them and will immediately retaliate for two damage. But only if you're in melee range. Yes. Good. It's not good for me. I'm doing range stuff. Do I go first? Uh, no, I go first. Um, however, there's 16 and 16. I think in that case, um, I get to go first because... Well, this is 15 first. No, uh, these are done. They just stand there. They don't move or attack. Oh, okay, okay, they just okay. put their shields up. Okay, and we have to remember that. Yeah, well, we can keep looking at this because in a game normally you'd have all these cards on the table and you could just remind yourself of it. Oh uh, right, but so I'm just oh my god, this way. would be so fiddly with cards. Yeah, no, it's it's actually fine to keep drawing them. It's the I fact get. that you have to keep um, setting them up. For each you have to keep shuffling it. Okay. Because there are some cards like in the attack decks that are like if you draw this one, then shuffle the whole. Okay, one. okay, okay. So you end up having four decks that you have to shuffle, and there's lots of management. Mm -hmm. This is actually really good. <laughs> yeah, 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 I believe it. Um, so. The archers now are gonna move three. Uh, this will happen after my go, but I'm just looking at it so I can work, make a plan. Okay. The archers are gonna move three and then attack t with a, um, an attack of one. So if we have the same number, we go first. Uh, yes, I'm deciding that's the rule. I'm pretty sure it is the rule, but I'm deciding it's the rule as well because 
My house, my rules. Because you've already done this mission once. And also, like, you know, it's the rule of... Does that seem fair? We're heroes. They're just people. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Range 3, attack value 1. Okay, I'm not super worried about these guys. What can I do? Now, I've played 16, right? Which means I can basically... What I was going to do... Hmm... <sighs> Need a brain leech. I'm thinking about it. But thinking about a cheeky thinking brain Thinking about leech. a little brain leech, but it doesn't seem worth it because I'm only going to get two health back, and that, that restores a big four oh, health. So you can keep it. But the card. This is what I'm going to do. I was going to bash these guys, and I feel a bit different about bashing them now because retaliate goes straight through shields. Like it doesn't count as an attack, which means it's just going to be two damage straight. I'm not going to get to defend any of it. Uh, okay. But I still think it's a good thing to do because this is a little combo. This is this is Gloomhaven, baby. First of all, I'm going to play feedback loop. Uh, which is, the cool thing that the Mind Thief can do is augments. This is something that other characters don't do. And it means augment cards go up here, and then it means that basically, on my melee attacks now, I get an extra bonus until I put in a different augment. Because you're causing a kind of psychic feedback loop. Yep. Which means basically... <laughs> said that like it's a thing. Yeah, cool, why yeah. not? Uh, but it means that on my melee attacks now, I gain shield one. Uh, and I think there's some little tokens somewhere for that. Uh, I can't remember. Oh no, I just put some tokens on it. Remind me. These fellas? No, they're money. Uh, we'll want some money soon at some point. Um, I'll find them in a minute. But basically, um, I get shield now for every time I hit a guy. So I'm hitting a guy. We attack one, and I get an XP. Yeah, XP. Woo. Um, and then I get shield for that immediately. Cha Ching. And then my attack one on this guy, number two. This is not going to go that well <laughs> for me. Up, pull, him, pull him towards you. This is going to really mess me up, actually. Do I want to do this? <laughs> do I actually want to do this? <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, screw it, I'm doing it. It just seems like a really bad idea. I can see now why when someone, when I was like, why don't we just play Gloomhaven on the stream? There was a flicker of fear. <laughs> I was being like, like ah! All right, I'm just going to do it and live in La Vida Loca. You know, that's what I always say. You do. You don't shut up about it, honestly. I don't. Uh, outside, inside out. Skin is the colour ochre. Very much that like. That doesn't get discarded, surely. No, this, these aren't, this is my... Oh no, this, this is my wrong thing. This is my discard pile over here. I got it all wrong. You haven't burned anything yet? No, I haven't burned anything yet. Okay. I'm a safe boy. And then the next one is another attack one, but I then strengthen myself. So it's attack one. So does he retaliate twice? He's going to, yeah. So I, So first of all, first attack is... Pulling him towards you. Pulling towards me. <laughs> And then plus, plus one. one. Nice. So that's attack two. So that's not too bad. So he's going to take two damage. That's number two. Loving it. Bam, bam. Hey, he's close to death. I can kill him. And actually, this guy's stunned, which means, does he get to retaliate? I don't mm. think so, no. That's, I think a few people in chat were hoping that you'd do that. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Because he's stunned. He doesn't get to do it. I okay. love this game. And then the second hit is going to do Why is he minus one. Okay, so the, the second one does minus, so it does nothing. Um, but you are strengthened? But I am now strengthened. So you're going to get shield and strengthened tokens from there. Yep. Uh, is it? Am I going Which now? Which means I'm becoming quite the buff rat. Do you just stay strong forever? It's cool. Like, the cool thing about the Mind Thief is, like, depending on how you spec your deck, you can really like do lots of different things with it by like what augments you put in. You can be like a kind of ranged person. You can be a sneaky stealth person, or you can just be like a tank. It's pretty mint. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, so I'm going to have a crack at doing an impaling eruption. Which is not a word that brings anything filthy to mind at all. So it's range four. So uh, the spell weaver's going to fire the impending eruption all along here. Well, hang on, before you do this, sorry. I was, um, I was in my, f I was there, man. Yeah, I was in got, the room. Got, I was. The archer's got to move first. Firing, <laughs> fire. At I know the, the archer, but the I archer's got to go. I can't get that momentum One, back. Two, three. Yep. The thing is, dude, though, I'm not gonna wear a bandana just because you made a mistake. So. <laughs> No, you know. I mean, that's fine. And then it's going to go on to... One, it's, it's close to me, so um, it's going to show... I actually can't shoot you. Great. Which means it's attack one. You're already, you're already <laughs> bummed out. I'm already bummed out, Uncle Quinns. I have been sorry. waiting for something like 12 minutes. To I'm sorry, and then there's no... Okay, I'll, I'll get through this quickly. <laughs> hey, easy. Guess what, you know? Um, I basically... What, you get shot in, the, in your hide armour? Yeah, I get shot in my hide armour. It's gone. I do love that we came through the door and immediately got mobbed by like five people. It's like what would happen in real life. These missions just kick off. There's no like prelude. <laughs> you're, just, you're in a room with people and then you get out the room and then you're in room with other people. These missions are mostly just going, ah, until you either lose or do it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are you going to do, Quince? I... <laughs> Let's just pretend. 
I can't do it oh, again. Just for me and you. Just for me okay, and you. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I can't do this. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do an impaling eruption. What? I'm What's gonna. That? <laughs> Screw you both. <laughs> uh, I am going to. That's all cool. This gra- yeah, it. Ah, oh. <laughs> we mark that, please, on the recording. That timestamp. Okay, uh, I'm going to erupt. I guess the ground between these two. Picking this guy. Range four. Attack three. Additionally, target all enemies on the way to the primary target. That's going to give me two. And can we also two XP? Can we also charge green? Yes, we can. Okay, uh, charge leaf. I guess the room's a bit more leafy than it was. Yeah, before. no, it's, it's got a, a mossy smell to it. So now I'm going to do three damage. First off, let's do uh, number three. I'm going to do four damage to him. Oof, that's, that's quite the eruption. That is. Is he dead? Number three. Yes. No. Oh, uh, the health but bar looks really low. Not. No, okay, way. and then number two. Mm -hmm. Miss. That's just and the reshuffle. Uh, okay. You actually reshuffle at the end of your turn, so you draw another one. Yeah. Draw another. You draw another card from this deck attack. now uh, for your final attack, isn't it? Uh, no, I just target those two. Oh, okay. So now we go to the bottom half, which is attack two, range two. I've just now realised. I'm that pretty sure you reshuffle it. Yeah, so. It doesn't matter. I've actually just realised I'm out of range. Because uh, I nothing's in range two. Uh, I am just hiding in a corner. But, oh, I could but you could spend it to move two if you want. I could. I could go here. I mean, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Maybe it is. I'm a bit closer for some of my other range stuff. Anyway, my impelling eruption is gone. That's okay. Uh, and flame strike is in the bin. And now I keep. We and now I reshuffle my deck. Yep. You know, I was just thinking. This is tragic, right? After I drew those two plus ones, I was thinking, oh, I'd love to get them back in my deck. Hope I draw that card that lets me reshuffle and forgot that it's the miss that means you reshuffle. Sometimes it's the miss. But Sometimes this damage deck is like really cool. That like, it's kind of a bit predictable, but also it's got that flair of like, until you re... I like this damage deck a lot. And it's this, really this cool. It's a lovely mechanic. It's really cool. Especially when you can try and add things. Like I added three pull cards. <laughs> No, great. It's really great. I don't. Why? You absolutely. <laughs> Everything's pulled towards your tiny rat. I do want to still know if I can use that. Like, if I can just pull other things towards me, because I think I must have bought that as if it was that. As if I'm going to just go. Oh, I'm just going to pull that person. I am waiting for someone to tell me why you did that. <laughs> <laughs> as but, yet yeah. unknown. Okay. I mean, I've only marked it on with a pencil. I can. Can change it. I'm going to need to. This is really kind of thematic in that I'm firing spells. I'm in the corner, but I'm going to look at my hand and go. I'm gonna need a rest. Soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's why only... long, long rests are really luxury. Like they're like <laughs> you don't get to do them very often. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, hey. Absolutely. And, uh... Oh, this is nice. No, hang on, no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. <gasps> oh, this is pretty exciting. Okay. I, just, I imagine that's why Gloomhaven has the number one rating on Board Game Geek. It's because of players going. <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> but it's not even just. It's, it feels like my uh, like. If there were like four characters in this game, mm -hmm. it's the weird alchemy of board games. Right? If there were four characters in this game, and I was playing Spellweaver, and I could do unique stuff, that would be cool. But the fact that there's like twelve means that this feels like it's mine. There's tons, and then the deck is like. Yeah, you make your own deck, and especially when you start modifying the decks with stickers and stuff. It's like really it's just... good that like you and I didn't review this together because if we did, like it would impact Shadow Mr. Down's editorial output just for us playing Gloomhaven all the time. We would have ended up playing a lot of it. It's like when I played loads of Netrunner and then didn't play as many board games as I could have. Do you want to know what spell I'm going to cast, Chris? I would like to know what spell. I bet you would, but you I can't guess. until Matt's picked his cards. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do, 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 do. I'll be able to shuffle my damage deck for luck. Ooh, ooh. Are How's you going to move from that corner? Or could you move from that corner? Like, in a meaningful way. Uh, yes. Okay. I've got an interesting, fun plan. So is this like simulating that you yell, Get out of there! And I go, Okay! And you go, what? <laughs> what? Why? 
Yeah, I can get GTFO. Okay. Are people asking about the um, the the app that you're using? You can't remember. Is it is it called Gloomhaven Dungeon Master? Uh, surely. Oh, that seems. Uh, a few people How many exhaustive, well-reviewed Gloomhaven it, apps could there be? It looks very nice. Like, There's two. Look how colourful it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, if we could bring it up on screen now, right? Yeah, and then mm -hmm. people can just look at screenshots of the app, I guess. It's, in the it's app pretty. store. Oh, wherever Matt got it. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh, do I want to do that or that? I mean, to be fair, if we look at the board state, you can see why Matt's dressing, because his rat is getting beaten up on. I mean, I'm all fine, because I'm just throwing spells. I'm ready. But we have so many bad, enormous dudes, and just a very tiny rat peering out from, from the chaos. You ready? Yep. Okay. I think so. I am 69. That's right. No, nothing funny about that number. 73. Why are you the funniest fast? number? Oh, you're slower than me. Okay. Um, oh, no, wait, sorry, I'd like to be 25. Wouldn't we all? <laughs> 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 Try the fish. I wasn't very happy when I was 25. I was fine. I was, I was all right, actually. Yeah, mid-20s is definitely better than early 20s. Early 20s is just a crap show. That's true. Uh, okay, so 20... <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I was just in my own world This there. is like when we were on a bus in, in Luxembourg and I had a meltdown and literally said to you, I will never be young again. <laughs> and then literally thought I was going to cry. The one time you realised... To be fair, you were extremely sleep deprived. I was very tired, but I was I was so close to actually crying about the fact the realisation that I would never be young again. I'm, I'm, I'm getting... Oh, no, 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 no. Everyone in chat, <laughs> no, tell I'm fine, Matt I'm fine. he's beautiful. I'm fine. No, I'm not worried about that. It's just you go, oh, that was funny. That was I meant spiritually beautiful. beautiful. Not like they will never come back. You'll never never do that again. Yes. I was like, That's why I recommend at least half an hour of crying in the shower every day, just to make sure those embarrassing moments. If you just happen. tuned in, this is Gloomhaven. <laughs> 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 Matt, just think, when you were 25, you didn't have that lovely shirt. And, and no, I didn't. Really I didn't. Remember. But I did have basically exactly the same hair. So there is uh, <laughs> swings and roundabouts. Okay. okay. I want to beat the hell out of some Enoxes because we, we started this dungeon, I want to say about 45 minutes ago, and we've moved one hex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like we have not really made a lot of progress, but it's fine because our job is to kill things. So we're just Oh yeah, so it is. So we're actually we're on our way to killing things. We're on our way we're to on our way. things. We're on our way. So twenty three, the Enoch Shaman moves. Okay. It's an elite. It's an elite, so he moves three and then he heals three. He's fine because he's Devon. At range three. So actually he's just gonna go like this, one, two, because he's just gonna heal. And then which one's he gonna heal? Um He heals them. Yeah. He's a shaman, dickhead. He's a... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? That's pretty much what I was going to say. He's not muddled anymore. He's not stunned anymore. Um, he's probably going to heal the guy who's wounded because that will heal his wound. Um, which is annoying, but that's how it would work. Okay. But I can hit number... Uh, number so three. that's what he does. Uh, that's all of the shaman That's all the shaman he wrote. Okay, right. <clears throat> Here we go. You ready for this? Just, but you might want to see what these guys are doing first. Again. You might want to see what these guys are doing first, right? Because okay. it's like it might affect what you're doing, right? You so first of all, the guards are going to move one and then attack three. Ignore the top one. That's and just then strengthen. Elite. And then strengthen. Um, and then these guys, are, the archer is going to attack, attack one. one range three, but two targets. So he's going to shoot both. But by and large, the guards are doing worse stuff. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. Okay, and the guards are more wounded as well, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to, with my 25 initiative, use fire orbs. <laughs> my favorite flavor of orb. That's, yeah, they're going in there. Anyway, that charges the air with fire. That's important. We're gonna, okay. that's gonna be relevant later. Um, then, um, that's gonna be range three, three targets. Uh, gain one experience for each enemy targeted. Five, six, seven. Don't, you don't need to increase your experience. This is why Clark got to level three. My time to just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, it spells. Uh, so I'm gonna target the three guards. Fire orb on each guard, range three, uh, target three. Attack three, so we're gonna start with number three, who's wounded. If I can do two damage to him. Oh, that guy? Oh baby, he's toast. Yeah, so you just don't. Plus one, he's dead. He's dead. Bang, Wait, bang, I bang, bought... bang. This is from the Memoir 44 uh, video. That's the death cup. <laughs> uh, so he is going into the death cup. Uh, okay, so uh, it previously held a bunch of allied soldiers. <laughs> yeah, now it holds an inox. So then uh, guy number two, uh, he's getting whomped for minus one damage, so two damage. And then guy number one, he's getting hit for uh, minus one damage. Okay. I can see why you wanted to keep the zeros uh, yep. in this deck. Um, yep. The zeros are fine. <laughs> you know? Yep. Okay, then. But because I've charged the air with fire, I use the bottom half of the crackling air card. 
So I'm going to move three, but then I'm going to get retaliate two. Mm. Does that mean, what does that mean? Permanent? Oh, like it sits, what, I don't know what that uh, That means. means basically that's going to be um, for the rest of that turn, basically. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Apparently, so, do, we, do they drop coins when they die? They do, yeah. Oh, I was going to sort that in a minute. Okay, uh, okay so I'm then... I'm not wearing a bandana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so move three, uh, so I've got three moves, but I'm gonna retaliate two if someone hits me. Yep. Okay, so what if I just like kind of get stuck in? Well, the thing is I'm gonna move some people to where you are. Um, Do you wanna move them into the so... thorns, is that a thing? Yeah. You wanted I mean, me to move anyway, right? What What's the archer gonna do, is the thing. The archer, well the archer is actually, oh the archer is actually just gonna attack without moving, which means if you stand next to the archer, then when he goes to attack you. Yeah. Hmm. Actually the thing is I can move um, any only can I hang on? What am I? I've got three, one, two, three. No, so I can only move two of these guys basically. Okay, look, I'm just gonna go here, stand next to the archer, get stuck in. I've got retaliate two. The guy can hit me, and then I'll be fine. Is that legit? Or yeah. should I just be away from the guard? Because this guard is he moving? The guards are guard number one. Uh, moving one space. Okay, so yeah. But I'm going to move them. I'm going to be able to move these guards three spaces. So, okay. So if you actually stand like there, I'm going to be able to move them away. Should away I just? From you. I'll stand next to the archer then. But, oh no, not until after he's attacked. So that's... Okay. So he will move and attack. Yeah, they're going to move and attack. Okay. But that means one of them attack me and one of them attack you, which is fine, right? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, right, so that's my turn. Um, and I have retaliate two now. So mm -hmm. that's nice. Oh, but we've discharged the fire from the atmosphere. Oh, let's yeah, animation. Great. Can we have the fire animation screen? Yeah, you absolutely can. Check it out. <sighs> Whoa, it's fire. Probably my least favorite effects, but it's still good. It's a good app. Of the six. And it's free. <laughs> Can you believe it's it? Free. <laughs> it's free. It's got fire effects. It's free. Okay. Uh, Buy now and you will get three of these apps. <laughs> Remember, this offer is not available in shops. Uh, okay, so that's 50. So then it's... Now it's time the for the guards. guards. So, so the guards now are going to move one attack, but so they're not actually going to move. Well, this guy's going to move one. But the other guys, they're already right next so to him. So he's going to hit attack four, so he's going to do four damage to him? <laughs> yeah, four damage, yeah. Ow. Okay, I regret yeah. everything. Yeah. Have That's you got good. anything to block that? Uh, I have a helmet. So if he draws... So I'm going to draw from the monster deck. Well, that's good, though, that helmet. Yeah, if, if he draws a double, then it becomes a zero. Oh, it's a plus two. Okay. So that's six damage. That's six damage. Bringing me down to two health. Two health, that's... Okay. But importantly, the reason I did this is for Retaliate 2. Yeah, so, so he just takes two damage? Yeah, which one's that? Number one. Yes. Okay, number one is taking two damage. That was absolutely categorically not worth it. No, it wasn't, was it? But I'm almost dead. No, because I only discard cards. However, the other guy's going to hit me, which is fine. And I'm going to hit you. Gonna do... Minus one. Oh, good, it's good for you. So it's three damage. Okay. Uh, but do you have your armor? Is the armor a thing or is it gone? Actually, no, it's not four damage. It's three because it's normal. So oh, okay, so I have one more health. One more health, yeah. Um, so I have armor. So I actually have two armor, which means I take... Destroy both those and take one damage. Nice. Okay, then it's going to be the archer. Uh, yeah, now it's the archer's turn. And now he's going to attack both of us. But I'm next to him. You're next to him, which means... He only attacks you. He, well, he doesn't. No, he can't. Hmm. I don't know if he can attack you. Because he can he fire through... What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, so he only attacks you. Yeah, no, so he just attacks me, I think. So it means he attacks me for one damage. Uh, no, he misses. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What a rubbish archer. And then, um, now it's me. So I am going to do little... This always makes me think of a, a very good album. I forgot actually. you hadn't gone yet. This makes me feel better about our situation. This makes me, reminds me of a very good, uh, very good Silent, musical album. Silent Scream. Silent Scream. So what album is that? Silent Shout by The Knife. Oh gosh, I haven't listened to that in years. Right? I never liked any of um, Phoebe Roy's solo stuff after that. No, I mean, I think. But I did like her political <laughs> displays at award ceremonies. Because they're messed up. Okay. I love the idea that we've been brawling with these guys in the main hall. There are five more rooms. <laughs> yeah, there are five more rooms, but that's life. So we've killed one of the ten people we need to kill? Oh my god. Imagine playing this with four people. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad. It'd be pretty bad. You calculating? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what I've done here. Okay, fine. I'm doing this. I'm summoning a monstrous rat. Because, you know what? Because you're, you're <laughs> we need one? You're only young once. 
That doesn't look like a rat. It doesn't, no. It's, it's a disappointment, but... Uh, Can again, we see that? Is that in frame? Yep. Okay. It's my monstrous rat. Check it out. Um, and I think my monstrous rat maybe gains my augments as well, but I'll work that one out. But I'll cross that bridge when I need to work it out. Um, and then I'm going to move three. One, two, three. And I'm going to then push these enemies two spaces. Wow. So can you push it in, you can push it into the can one of them go into the I can't unfortunately. Not this guy? Well, that's the thing, I was trying to work out where to I mean I was thinking maybe I should actually go there and then I can push these guys. I can't push them three unfortunately, but I can push them two. You can't push this guy, you have to be in base to base. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and they have to be put, moved away from you, so I can't do it. Uh, it's annoying because I was—I th I thought if I could get some ice in the air, then I could uh, push them three and mm. push them into the bikes. But I still think moving them back is good because sometimes they just attack, and you know. So I was thinking maybe this guy could. Oh, but you can't push him through me. I think I push him through there. That doesn't really make much of a difference. What do you think? Uh, I—you could push him away, and then I could move later. I mean, I'm gonna push him because so why not? Remember... Oh, sorry, I can help you out a little here. Apparently, um, you did have the option, Quince, when you took that six damage to discard a card instead of taking that damage. But, I mean, if I take that much damage on a future turn... I didn't take six, but... I thought you did. I took uh, five. five. In oh, the end. Uh, no, okay. no, yeah, cool. I did initially. Um, but, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. if I take that much damage again, I discard a card anyway, so... Or do I choose the discard a card? Or like at random? I think it's random but I don't know. But I'm okay. sure we'll get corrected on that if we need to be. It's all good. Uh, okay, so we're all done now. Bear in mind that your potion is really useful early in the game because it means you can literally be like, I want these two cards back. But this card's gone forever or just for this adventure? Just for this adventure. Okay. Yeah, let's definitely use that. Jeez. Yeah, because it's like, you can't get your lost cards back with it, but it means you can, like anything in your discard pile, you can... Can I glug my stamina potion? Yeah, I'd, I'd do it. So uh, I think I actually committed something incorrectly there. Uh, so you, you, you do choose a card, but you lose it. You don't discard yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Got it. Yeah. Which for you is not that bad. Okay, then this is now bend. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Can I use my augment on my rat? That's the question I've got for the internet. Because I think I tried to work this one out. One of the problems with Gloomhaven is that because it has very specific card decks, if you have a specific rule question regarding a deck, you have to like look on the internet. And that's fine, but I find whenever you're looking on the internet with games like this, I'm always very wary of like spoilers. But to be fair, the community are really good about not spoiling Gloomhaven. Where's your really good? Your deck can be your filter. Apparently, um, with it being uh, an odd round as well, do we need to add another? In it's at the end of that round. Oh, okay. Which oh no, we we are at the end of the round. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Internet. Why are there so many Enoxes? We're not going to open any of these doors. No, maybe not. I mean, that's life. That's what all the Enoxes. It's say. quite a hard game, Gloomhaven. Yeah, I but I kind of dig it because if it was easy, it would be, it would feel. It's a puzzle, If it right? was easy, all the complication would feel like faff, but... Yeah. Yeah. No, there's not... There is some faff, but we've cut out a lot of that. So, uh, apparently you can't augment summons a couple of people have confirmed. Okay, that. cool. With no spoilers. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you, Internet. Thanks, Internet. I've picked my cards. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 20. Okay. Oh, sorry. I put oh, my... right. No, no, no. I had. I picked mine. You metaphorically I... picked your. Cards. I picked my cards and then put them back in my hand, which is not stupid. Nine. Nine. Yeah, nine. Okay, this is going to be our turn to shine. I can feel I it. I think so. Right. We're speedy boys. Now it's time for this We've one. We've run through the pack. Yeah, we're first. We're first. We've set fire to them. So first of all, the archers are going to be just moving and attacking with ranged attacks. That's pretty normal. The guards are just going to be moving, attacking, very vanilla, and the shaman is going to move, heal all adjacent allies, and then bless himself. I beg your pardon. Bless himself. Yes, okay. So he'll... Okay, that's fine. That's not a big deal. Okay, you go first. Okay, so... Um, right. I'm going to... Oh, yeah, mate. Right. Sorry, I've just got to check this because this is... Uh, this is nice. Yeah? Yeah. Just got to do a little bit of a... Hot for niceties. 
when we started playing, I was like, I'm just going to sort of mess about a bit in Matt's campaign. But it's clearly Gloomhaven is hard enough. I was not... This is what surprised me the most, definitely. I wasn't expecting it to be this toothy and, like, unforgiving. Mm, it's pretty mean. Okay. Really, like, when you were talking in your review about how um, if someone chooses to go for a chest instead of fight a monster, I can see how that Yeah, would you'd be like, be like really? <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't get the chest in that mission, you do the mission, and you just you never know what was in that chest. And there's, like, a, a look-up list of what was in that chest. Wow. And you get that card. It's not a random thing. It's like, wow. it's a thing. Or sometimes it's a trap. And you're like, you f sorry. Oh, you're like, give another but, mark, please. But that's, you know, it's like, <laughs> we did that. And then it's, now everything's worse for us. Yeah. Thanks for that, buddy. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. There should be a money coin on that thing. I'll take it over there. Yeah. So there should be a money coin where one of the guys died. And number one. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> thing is, I've got a really cool card, but I've got to work out who to cast it on. It was the title you moved on to. So do you get it? Um, yeah, I do, actually. You yeah. do? What a nice coincidence. <laughs> um... I think you get to uh, move, like do something with your summon before you actually take a move as well. If you, if you want to... Oh yeah, I get to use my summon first. Okay, let's yeah. do that first. That's easier. So I think what I'm going to do is get my summon to go and attack. Um, oh. 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 <laughs> I'm going to think my rat is going to go... One, two. And he's going to try and attack Enix Guard number two. Because you know what? My rat has got an attack value of three. And he uses your deck. And he misses. And he misses. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it is a rat. I don't know why we're expecting big things from... I had a lot of rats growing up. Do you know that, Chris? I didn't. I had uh, a few rats. Yeah. Uh, we were very poor parents to one of the rats. Uh, we just let it run all around the house. And we thought that would be a fun thing for the rat. But it turns out, <clears throat> if you let a rat... Well, that sounds terrible, like our house was infested with rats. But actually, obviously, it was house trained. It was friendly. It was pretty smart. It was house trained? Well, it doesn't like crap on the floor, yeah. No, wow. rats, rats are smarter than all kinds of animals. Rats are smarter than, I think, cats. <clears throat> it's one of those animals like pigs that is distressingly smart when you realize how much they use for scientific experimentation. But we let it run all around the house and turns out when you do that for rats, they start to think that the entire house is its territory. Which means eventually this friendly rat is started being like, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> oh my <laughs> the, entire, the entire house belonged to the rat. Um, it was a lot scarier than this rat, let me tell you. Uh, I was having a bath once and the rat jumped onto the side of the bath while I was in the bath and goes up on its haunches and because it was very upset oh my that I was in its bath. Wow. <laughs> I can imagine. I'm casting Hostile Takeover, which means that I am forcing one normal enemy within range three to perform its turn this round as if its allies were enemies and its enemies were allies. So is that guy going to heal us? Is that what um, you're saying? That means basically this guy is uh, now under our control for the rest of the turn. Nice. And then secondly, I'm going to move three and attack one in my scary nature. And I'm going to go here. <laughs> and this is the most I've liked your character. Possibly because of the... Yeah. It's the mind control and then it's like a crap Yoda. And then I'm going to um, <laughs> use... Is this poison dagger? My poison it? dagger. Okay. Yeah, so my poison dagger now adds poison to a single attack. Poison in this is interesting. It's, it's just unusual. It's not like wound is what poison is in most games. In this, if you, something's poison every time you hit it, um, you do one extra damage. It seems like what game. wounds should be. Yeah, I know, right? It's... And wounds should be what poison does. It is what it is. What are you going to do? All right, anyway, so uh, I'm hitting him. And Write a letter it's... to Isaac. I mean, you, he'd read it, I'm sure. Like, <laughs> he's a nice guy. Um, that's an attack value of one. So it's one, minus one. <laughs> that's, uh... Does it do poison? It does do poison. Hey. Yeah. So he's like, you didn't even scratch me. And I'm like, <laughs> I Maybe love your I rat did. voice. <laughs> Can there be more of this? Can this happen more? Probably. <laughs> I don't know which. Well, one there's of these two different types of, of poison on the map. Okay, fine. Okay, is that your turn? Uh, no. No. Yes. 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 Okay. <clears throat> I am also going to do fire orbs. Uh, so not on the one we're controlling, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I will launch fire orbs once again at um, the elite guard and the archer and this narrow Can guy. You do it three people. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I'm pretty great. I get one experience for every fire orb. Can you make the noises again, Matt? <laughs> Lovely. Uh, and they are going to uh, do three damage to each fella. So first off, the elite and boy. Charge fire. Charge fire. Let's put some oh, yeah, fire. Charge fire. <laughs> charge fire, please, boss. <laughs> Plus, Plus one damage. One. Four oh. damage to the elite. 
to the elite guy. That's four damage. That's five uh, to damage. To the archer. One, two, three, four, no, sorry, it's three five. plus one. It's four. Okay, fine, four. Uh, the archer, <laughs> uh, minus one, so two damage to the archer. Okay. And number guard number two, <laughs> plus two. Boss, five guard, damage. Guard number two, he's dead. Oh! Uh, he is completely dead. Oh boy. That's, and that's another coin on the map. For you to hoover up. Maybe. Yeah. I like money, what can I say? Is that wrong? Okay, um, that charge fire. Then I move on to, do we have frost charged? That's not a thing. Uh, no, it charges frost, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, So I'm gonna charge frost with my frost armor. Um, on, <clears throat> so the next two sources of damage did me no damage instead. Whoa. Because I'm covered in ice. Crazy. And you that's get... not the sound of ice, it'd be like. Yeah. It's actually quite, I try to do it when you cast it. It's actually quite a hard noise to make with your mouth. No. That was, yeah. That was Usually bad. for me, I did a better job of that than you. Uh, okay, I'll put one of my icons there. That's nice. That's going to give me two XP. All right. And then that is um, all of our ghosts, isn't it? Oh, gosh. I'm really not ready for them to... No, because the guard is going to... Yeah, no, that's good. No, the archer is first. But I'm next to the archer. Yes, oh, but he moves but he's going to gonna move two. And he's probably, gonna, he's probably gonna hit you. Move two and then attack. Maybe attack like here? Do you, how do you, you've been moving them and I've been assuming you I know mean, what you're doing. Effectively, right. Um, you can sort of choose. They, they have to be one square away to attack with, with ranged attack. So if they need to, then they'll get into So how do you know if the archer would like move one away or like move two away? I mean, you'd probably move two away. Okay. Um, and then attack you. Okay, because they well, want to be away to attack because they they've got a range of four or three, so they just want to get like far away. Okay, well I think he'd back up into the corner then because and was... then shoot that guy. Okay, fine, I'm happy with that. Like, I mean, it's basically you, you make you make your own. So that's fun. two damage to me, right? No, he's going to attack the, this guy. Really? Yeah, because I cast a spell on him, which means he's on our side for this round, which means something's going to attack him. Hey, I like you. <laughs> yeah, like. Okay, so two damage. Then I draw a monster card. Yep. Oh, minus one. So okay. There's one damage to guard number one. That's fine. Loving it. And, and then, then guard number one activates and goes... Moves two, attacks three. So attack, So we, do we decide if he attacks the elite or the... Uh, yeah, basically it's close enough. So I Let's think he should attack into the elite, yeah. yeah. And then he's going to hit him. Ah, oh, love and life. This yeah. is wicked, plus one. Three, four damage. Four damage. And it's five because the poison. One, ah, two, three, three four, five. five. That was... Na you gotta... If, if you're that was gonna, fine. I, it was all right, but like... Do you want to crack the mic? <sighs> This is the difference between Matt and myself. Can we get a straw poll in chat? If you think it's more important to do a cool high five, or if you think it's more important to not pop the mic and cause a nice little peak that will sound bad for people on headphones. You're asking the people listening to the stream. I guess I used to that. Yeah, that, they're the sure. ultimate test. Yeah. That's how they're confident they're I am. Sure. All right, now it's time for the Enoch Shaman who goes, ah, my friends, why have you done this to me? So he, because the guy is, he's not going to try and- He's not his him. ally, no. So ah. he means he's going to move to- um, Away or towards? I mean, he'd probably try and move towards his ally, I guess. So move so towards the nearest go. ally. Yeah. And then uh, he's going to heal one, which affects all, all adjacent, adjacent But he's not adjacent to himself. He's not adjacent. And then he so. will bless himself. Bless himself, yeah, and I can't remember exactly how that works. So I'm gonna just quickly. I will fish out the bless token. Oh no, we don't need a bless token. No, no, no. I think there's something else, but I, I just need to remember. I'm gonna give him a bless. So we haven't seen a straw poll yet, but the the answer to that question was much more divided than I expected. Oh really? Um, but I suspect it might come down to whether or not you're using headphones, headphones yeah. or speakers. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> okay. No, that's wrong. How do we? What have you done, Quinns? I'm giving him a bless token. No, 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 no. None no, of these are blessings. That works. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> Get off my computer. <laughs> this is a blessed token. So now, now it means that the enemy deck because it's blessed self. But no, yeah, yeah. No, I know it is. But what? Now, he puts a thing in the enemy deck. Yep. The enemy deck now has one of these, and it's just a Whoa! one, a one use, a one use double damage. What a lovely mechanic. Mm-hmm. And I believe that means it gets shot. I around. like this game. It's good, right? Yeah. It's very slow. Oh, it's really slow. That's why I said like, don't play it with. More than like, I think two is great. Three is good as well, but four just don't like. It's exactly the same numbers as the Arkham Horror card game. Yeah. Although four is kind of interesting with Arkham. Like this would be quicker if we weren't like streaming on the internet. Yeah, as is the case with most of. The but games it's we still stream. very much a kind of like slow Saturday. Afternoon. We are like about probably on balance, getting close to halfway towards doing our goal. Yep. Yep. Or yep. Dying. That's what I like to hear. All right, now it's time for round five. Yep. Okay. Oh no, we're not, don't look at those numbers, just choose a card. Okay. In fact, I've only got two cards in hand, so I don't have a choice anyway, so it's fine. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. 
Oh, that's positive and delicious. Oh. All right. I made my choice. Okay. That's good. Mm, I've really... made my choice. Have you? I'm not really feeling this. If I do a blast attack, does it hit allies as well? Uh, I don't know. Chat? I don't think there is any friendly fire in this game, no. Okay. I think it's hard enough without that. Um, but I could be just wrong. Seems fair. What does muddle do again? When you draw cards from the enemy deck, you... A muddle means they get disadvantage. So okay, they draw okay, two okay, and okay. choose the worst. I think maybe don't... I, I think I'm going to... This guard next to me, I think I'm going to deal with him. Just so you know, and I'm probably going to deal with him quite quickly. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, maybe. But then Sweet Cheeks, you're on your own. Oh, shit. And in sugar. fact, the Shaman has only got two health as can well. Can I do a short rest now? So does, uh, a, does a short rest mean I... You can do a long rest now for your turn. But that means I only get... No, I don't get those back. No. I get those three back. And lose one of them. One of these three? Yes. You choose which one would be lost instead of getting randomly one. I mean, how many cards have you got in hand? Two. I mean, it's up to you, really. Like, you could basically have one more turn and then... But if it means losing a card... I mean, you can spend the little values as well. The answer to your AOE question, I think, uh, you, or Friendly Fire question in general... Friendly Fire does exist, but only when the card specifically states it. Oh, of course. Okay, good to know there are some awful guys in the deck who do that stuff. So. Um, yeah, I mean, you can also not use the one, the versions that lose it. You can just have, like, I'm just going to play it as a move two or an attack two. Okay. And if your health is very low, what is your health on? Uh, my health three. is... Three. <laughs> it might be worth just... Because you're going to have to take a short rest anyway next turn. Yeah. Maybe you don't actually. Maybe you can do a, have no cards. No, you can have no cards and then take a long rest. Is that right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But it just means you don't get a whole turn. It means it's a whole turn where you do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this is incredibly hard. Yeah. Like it's the way Gloomhaven looks. You would think that it's like oh miniatures roll dice, but it's not. It's basically the game is this. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a really and like tight, a tiny bit of this. This is one when we played Street Masters last week. It's like oh, it's kind of similar because it's like it's a. But I think this is. Way more oh, Street Masters is like popcorn compared yeah, yeah, to this. Yeah. But this is like a really tight, complex card game that you play that happens to have a board and minis and stuff. But like, yeah, I mean, I'd say maybe move away from these guys. I'm going to deal with the guy who's right next to you, the melee guy. I'm probably going to deal with this guy as well because he's got hardly any health. And I'm if you can just do some damage, I'll chill out. So if time. you just move away from this archer, well, you could just chill out. Like, Okay. Maybe just like walk away <laughs> from this life, you know? If I do a short rest right now, sugar. You don't want to do a short rest now, because a short rest it means you lose a card randomly. If you do a long rest, then you will choose which of these cards goes to your lost pile. But if I do a short rest, do I lose one of these three randomly? Yep. <clears throat> and you have to do a short rest when you have no cards, or a long rest. But the difference is a long rest is your whole turn, and you get two health back. And you get to choose the card. And choosing the card you lose is the big thing. But I also lose a turn. Yep, you do. You do lose a turn. It's a big decision. <laughs> so don't feel Especially if you've still got two cards in it, I'd say. But these cards are bad. But remember, they could just be a move and an attack. A, a move two and an attack two, <laughs> and then you won't lose the cards. This is hellish. Okay. And bear in mind, you can always do the attack and then the move afterwards. You can do what you like. But I just know if you end up moving around here somewhere, then you'll be safe because these guys aren't gonna. These guys are quite slow. They're not gonna come and get you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay, screw it, screw it, screw All right, it. What's, what number you got? what's your number? Oh, sugar, I just put them face down as if I'm in a tournament. Uh, let's go with 66. Okay, I am 14. And it means the lowest enemy at the moment is 14, which so means you go I first. am going first. Okay. So, uh, how's this for a fun thing? First of all, I'm going to use my move Fearsome Blade! <laughs> I'm stabbing you with my fear, stabbing a man with my fearsome blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you say fearsome blade, and then just <laughs> shank someone like Omar in the wire. You make it declarative, and then just. <laughs> I mean, it's basically like um, Shadows of Mordor. <laughs> You're like, I'm a terrorist. <laughs> that game was really quite uncomfortable. Um, okay, so I'm attacking this guy. Attack two, and then uh, my deck is. Is this my deck? I think it is. Yeah, attack two. Uh, with an extra pull, and then plus one. So that's an attack of three, 
And he's dead. Guy, he's dead. I didn't even need to push him. Would you like to drop him into the cup? I you didn't even to. need to push him. Hey -o! What happened to the coin? That there was a coin there. Oh, that guy's standing on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put another coin. There's on some there. coins here. I've got on him. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so I killed that guy. I was going to push him into the spikes. Never mind. You just got to live your life. It's fine. Okay. And then uh, now for my next trick. I am invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you'd deal with the archer. I will do in a minute. My rat's going to do it. I was supposed oh. to do my rat first. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So now you're invisible. I'm Great. invisible now. Okay. So if you could just... Okay, your rat, rat... Am I running? Okay, I'll... Yeah, draw He's the card. Attack yeah, the okay. shaman. It does minus one damage. Okay, he does two damage. That's enough to, to kill, kill the shaman, shaman. yeah. <laughs> okay. hey -o. I'm still invisible. <laughs> All right, I don't need to pretend to be visible now. I think everyone gets the idea. Uh, that's another coin. Which means nothing can attack me. Nothing can attack you, great. Uh, then it's 14, which is the archer, but the archer's dead. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I love you. <laughs> that invisible token. Brat can uh, put the camera on it later. But Oh, we've lost our... We've lost, our, we lost the little screen. We've right lost the little screen. screen, so we have absolutely no idea I think that'll be all right, but... Um, that, yeah, okay. <laughs> two thumbs up. It's very small. But that's my invisibility token. <laughs> I, just, I find that really funny. It's dinky. I'm going to put that back on my Okay, uh, then it's my turn. Uh, I'm going to do something unexpected. Mm. Uh, I'm going to... I've got two attack, which I don't really need. But I'll just do a two attack, which doesn't do anything. And then I will heal six. I'm going to cast a spell that heals six. Imagine that's that. amazing. I'm charging myself up with... I mean, I love that the top thing has a name, but the bottom thing is just like, I don't know. Icy Blast. I'll Icy Blast I'll myself. Because I basically look like I'm made of ice. That is incredibly racist against orchid crystal people. Icy people. Um, okay. Although, actually, the archer should have gone before that, but it's fine. No, the archer's dead. Oh, that's the... Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Um, the archer... Um, oh, no, we killed that guy. No, where's the other guy? Oh, the guards are over there. That's fine. I was like, where's the guard? They're on the other side of the room. And we're getting another one this round. That's cool. Um... Move one, attack two. Create move one, attack one. Create a three damage trap in an adjacent en hex closest to an enemy. Okay, move one. Mm -hmm. then he's gonna yep. throw a trap out. Yeah, and then he's gonna also gonna attack at range three, and he's gonna have to attack you. That's fine because I've got no. Surely, what about the actually no? Rat? He would have he would have tried to attack the rat, so he'd move back. <laughs> that terrifying rat. Uh, so he's gonna the rat go just did murder one of his friends. Attack one. Yeah, that's your deck. Like, Oh yeah, don't use that one. Plus zero. Okay, so one damage to the rat. Um, and then... Uh, uh, three damage trap, which is going to put... Is this the trap? Yeah, that's pretty funny, because now he's kind of like... He's walled himself into a corner. We can just run away from this guy. Unless we want to kill him with... Well, no, but... He's, he's kind of got full health. But if we run away from him, he's oh, going to have to walk himself. through... That's really good, yeah. yeah. That's he's like, ah! And then we're like, okay. <laughs> we just back See you away. later. It's very future armor. I don't yeah. know why that came to mind. Yeah. Um, okay, and then the Enox guards <laughs> are going to. Um, actually, we should have another Enox guard there, but I'll put that in a minute. No, we did, um, didn't we? We spawned two. No, that's fine. Oh, one, three, um, and five. Yeah. No, at the end of round five, we'll have another. It's all good. Um, and then. They move one. They both move one. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Every time to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think we have to bring back a uh, another. Uh, go from the no, door. the cup I'm is sorry. symbolic. I'm sorry, I know the cup is symbolic, but this is not how the game works. They keep coming back because uh, I feel like we forgot to move one of those guys in one turn. Because uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. They didn't move in one turn. In one oh, turn is that right? Okay, 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 okay. That's the thing. Like, you kind of like you get a feel for the enemies as you fight them. A bit like um, Kingdom Death, but less booby, <laughs> less booby, less nips. Fifty percent less nips. The DHS sale is now on. Uh, okay, so <laughs> on nips. Okay, uh, long. Am I gonna it's time for rest? me to take a short rest, baby. Thing is, if I take a short rest, there's a one in four chance I lose the important card. But one in four. It's real low. <laughs> That's the look. That is just the look that Matt gives me when he knows I'm going to take what we like to call a Quentin Smith gamble. That's the Quentin Smith promise. It's only a 25% chance that your character will break. <laughs> <laughs> but then, how? the worst thing about these is like, uh, for it to be truly cool, the people at home need to understand the gamble. But usually I do something reckless and you don't know, and then it works, and then no one understands why I'm awesome. Yeah, for those who've missed it earlier, he has one card that effectively, when he plays it, allows him to get back all of the cards that he has lost 
Because usually when you've lost all your cards, that's your character out of the mission. Whereas your, his character, most of the moves make him lose cards, but he has one card that lets him get them all back. So one point in the game, he can just basically regenerate. Uh, um, but if he loses that card, then he basically... Fine, his life is, I'll do along. I don't know, because it's like... You, you, yeah, you don't even need the health. Like, Nothing's really. going to even hit us this turn, so we got time. You do have time. Okay, so I'll do a long rest. But I'm at full health. It's I know, waste. I know, I know, I know. You know I what, know, man? Know. Caution to the wind. Uh, okay, do it. Here we go. So, hang on, short rest. I'll just do it now. I'm losing one as well. I've lost my scurry, but that's fine. That seems like a backup card. Yeah, it's not that great. It allows me to loot things, but that's Matt, fine. do you want to pull? Oh, don't make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that one. Woo! I've lost my flashing burst. <laughs> That's fine. He's hey, look, now I'm going to get it back by birth. playing the card that lets me get everything back. Everything's coming up, coins. <laughs> As uh, but now you've got your deck back, which means it's like... All three cards. Well, well oh, yeah, you've got a small deck, haven't you? Yeah. Um, it's good for a beginner, actually, because I don't have that many options. Mm. Yeah, I've got options back. Sorry, apparently, um, if you lose a card that you don't want to lose, you can take a point of damage and then lose a different card. Oh, you know that? If you wanted to. I didn't know you could do that, no. How about that? You need to that's... redo your Gloomhaven review. Yeah. Right. Next week, Matt's Gloomhaven review. It's going to be 48 minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> Just 20 minutes on that rule alone. Mm. Okay. It's a real game changer. Uh, all right. Uh, sugar. I guess I should probably... It's funny. The interesting thing as well is I'm now still invisible until it is my next turn, which means... Doesn't really affect it much now because there's not anyone around. But it means if you if you go really late in the next turn, it means you're invisible for ages, which is really cool. You can be like wait till the end of the turn and be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> all of your rat noises are the best. <laughs> I'm back. It's very much the the voice of a man who watched a lot of Muppet films. As a it's child. kind of like that Hunger Games scared, which is, I guess is the same vein of it. Really. Yeah, yeah. Ah! It's the bird from. Uh, I live in my house. I live in my. Oh, I, oh, you can do it better than me usually. I live in my house. Yeah, that's good. I live in my house. If you haven't watched Hunger Games scared, <laughs> don't. It's terrifying. Oh no. Oh, oh don't want to. What is the biggest thing in the world? <laughs> a windmill. I love a windmill as an answer to that. Uh, okay. Um, let's do this. <laughs> let's also do this. I think we should just like leg it over to do the... Do we door. actually... Do we need to kill... Oh, to stop the guards uh, spawning. We, yeah, we to, to stop the guards spawning, we need to go and open that door. Okay, okay, okay. But we've already killed now four things. So we need to bear that in mind. Love and life. So we need to kill six more. Chris, can you have a kill count of some kind? I can, oh, yeah. I can do it. Sure. I feel like we should maybe just go for that door. I feel like in... in well, which door? The far door? Yeah, I feel like if we had more people in this... Can I let like... you in on a secret? What? I was just going to run and then kick open this door. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can still do that if you What's want. What's in there? They can't all be full of Enoxes. No, that's true. They can't all be full some of Some of them Enoxes. must be full of... Treasure. <laughs> That's true, but I feel like we're being guided to go through that door. And I feel like if we were four players, then maybe we could all... Give me a T. <laughs> Give me an R. Give me an E. I love that I don't even know where the treasure is. Or if there is an E. If there's going to be treasure, it's probably going to be in the room that looks different. Oh, is that right? I mean, that's just rule 101 of, like, adventures, right? What's in the blue room? It's tre treasure. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's, 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 uh... It's either a boss or treasure or both. Okay, I'm going to push on. Okay. Towards the treasure. I think we've got to kill... These guys are, like, going to be trouble. Because... Next turn, there's going to be not next turn, but the turn after, there's going to be four of these guys. But it's going to take so long to kill them. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it. Let's oh, I just took a rest, which means I, I get my items back. You don't get your potion back, but oh really? Ready, but your items reset. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to rock. By the way. Okay. Um, I'm not. Not, but that's fine. I'm going to work it out real quick. <gasps> that's going to be cool. I'm going to do that. How would I have one card left? How is that a thing that can happen? If you have one card left, then you just play one card, or you have to do a short rest or a You have to do a rest, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. In which case, it's time. Tragically. Twelve XP for anyone counting. 
I've got it all. Anyone at home counting? That's a that's twelve experience points. It's pretty crazy. Spell that's why I was like, hey, let's play a game. We'll give double XP, and it's like, okay, it's cool. <laughs> and in the end, Clive was like, that. I was like, how much XP do you get? And he's like, fifty eight. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. So what? How do you? Um, okay, uh, I've got the a... number of the beast I choose will be thirty six. Okay, I'm going for seventy three. I'm going a little later in the round this time. What have we got with our boys? A bit of a late bloomer. Fourteen for the archer. No, this is the last round, I think. Okay. Uh, so I need to do this. So we're into round six. <laughs> Isn't me with those numbers exactly the same? They're similar. Fifteen and sixty-eight. Okay, but that suits me just fine. Oof, that's not ideal. But hey, guess what? We can move away. I'm invisible. <laughs> <laughs> also, okay. one, two, three, four. I'm out of range, but my rat one, isn't. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, but you can move the rat. Ah, uh, but the rat's. But gonna the rat's get, gonna get. The rat's gonna get shot afterwards. by. I'm imagining the Urukai from um, Fellowship of the Ring, where it's that fabulous creaking noise. I could have gone Before earlier. As well. I could have gone earlier. Oh, okay. These guys are gonna shield one and retaliate two. So they just. Hang out. They're just moving. They're not moving. So then next up is you, I believe. Yep, 36. So I am going to recover all of my lost cards. Nice. And then this goes in the bin, which is tragic. And then attack two, range two. I was just going to move two. Yeah, sure. Start heading That's towards a good idea. the door. Mm -hmm. And can't be swarmed. Okay. Uh, and then it's time for the archer to... Um, he's going to have to... Yeah. He's going to attack my um, rat. No. rat for three damage, which is really... I really hope he messes up this attack now. Oh, he doesn't. Three, which means he's my a rat stony bro. You know, my rat is like that's, dead. He's dead, but like also like I, every time I summon this rat, it doesn't last very long. Well, it's because he's got not much health, and you just fling him into melee. Well, that's damage he could have been doing to us, kind of. I know, but I didn't think. Does the rat it. leave a gold behind? No. <laughs> I, yeah, I wish he did. I mean, you know, I don't uh, know who well, invents the rules of doing. I'm not sure about my rat. I might not keep it because every time I'm like, it's a rat, and then I'm like. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's I'm, that's a bunch of damage that could have been done to us. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's true. Okay, and those guys guard, but don't do anything basically. Yep, they don't do anything. Which now, means now it's time for me. round seven. Oh, that's you, me. Do you have to. All right. I yeah, I got to do things now. Actually, okay. um, ah, it's annoying. Actually, I could have done. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and I'm gonna use my boots to go. Four. So let's just get an extra movement. Um, and then actually, I was going to attack this guy, but I'm not going to attack him now because he's got a shield and he's got. So actually, I'm just going to use the bottom of this, which is push to target all adjacent enemies. So it means that basically. Do you need healing? No. Um, I'm, no, I'm fine at the moment. Okay. I'm just going to push him too, which means he's going to go. Ah! <laughs> Why was that? That just summoned all of the uh, pushing this guy through the thorn bush and you making that noise. Can you make it again? Ah! It was just like every strategy video game I ever played as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Ah! It's like in Jagged Alliance. Someone gets shot with a rifle and goes, ah! It's like the trivia uh, a friend of ours who did um, worked on video games in terms of uh, voice directing people for video games said that like whenever you had to try and get people to pretend they were on fire if you told oh, yeah. people to make noises like they're on fire it's way too much and it just doesn't scan in the game properly the thing that you, they discovered in the end that was the best thing to do was tell them that imagine you're being attacked by loads of bees yes and then it's like ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Like imagine you're covered in bees and then, yeah. then you get the noise of people on fire because actually on fire people go ah and it's, and like, it's like, oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit much. It turns out people don't really Let's want... Let's scale it back to bees. Okay, uh, what did you, you pushed a guy through a thorn I pushed a guy through a thorn bush. Your life? Which I know doesn't seem like much, but it did do two damage. That's and I didn't good. get hurt. So. Okay, is that the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Okay, great. I picked my cards out for next turn, actually. All right, cool. Um, I Just so you know, I'm kind of getting amped up for next turn. Okay, that sounds good to me. I'm like, charging my spells. Charging my spells. I'm getting some audio trouble, Chris. Uh, it's okay, it's just my microphone. You guys did great. Oh, okay. You did great. Thanks, man. I have to go. I got an email. Shut up as a bench went live on Twitch.
What? And I love their content. Should we go watch that? Let's go watch this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a bad joke. But I love it. <laughs> what? Don't say that. So I'm uh, just trying to work out what the hell I'm doing here. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, I'm getting through my uh, second beer. I'm going to be on the brandy soon because these are the last beers I had. The last beers that I, I love that every stream we do uh, goes on for slightly longer and also has me be slightly more relaxed on stream, which means I drink more. So like every single, <laughs> literally every stream we've done, I have consumed more alcohol. Hmm. Tune in next year when <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> this will never end. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I love this. Probably, again, I've got this really chilled out thing. It's kind of just, it just shows how much anima there is in these miniatures in my head and how into the game I am. That like, my uh, spell weaver there is sort of just hanging out in the outskirts. Meanwhile, you're panicking over your cards because you are a tiny miniature and all three of these guards we've sort of oriented towards you. Pretty big guys. They're big guys. <coughs> They've all got like basically full health. Okay, I'm ready, ready to rock. I'm ready to rock. Okay. I've got 75. We got. Um, I'll just do 25. Okay. It's round seven. 44. So it's me first. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna play Crackling Air. Ooh. Ooh. That wasn't. That was like more like clearing my throat. Mm. Uh, no, it's rubbish. Okay, so um, for my next four attacks, I get plus one damage. Which, considering the amount of attacks I have that do hit like multiple targets, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Let me tell you. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, then I've got move four. Hmm. One, two, three, four. So you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in here? Could be treasure. I mean, sure, go for it. Have a look. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> do what you like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I said that as if like. Like a frustrated do what you dad. Like. Yeah. I don't care. No, a frustrated dad would say, not in my house. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. What are the guards doing? Uh, the guards are... The archer is just going to move into a trap. Uh-huh. He's only going to move he one space. He's going to move one space. He's going to move in and go, ah! Ah, my feet! Um, the guys are... What are they doing? And then the guards move are going to move two, attack, attack three. They no, move two, attack three. Okay. Mm. So some of them will go for me and some of them will go for you. But if I... Mm, okay. I'm just so curious what's behind that goddamn door. Okay. Uh, uh, it's up to you. I don't know. Just go with your heart. Go with my heart. My heart says kick the door open. Do it. Here I go. One, two, three. Kick open the door. It's okay. open. Bam. We have four trash chests of gold. Uh, <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible, terrible decision. On the other hand... I might never play Gloomhaven again. <laughs> it's Matt's campaign, you're fine. It's Matt's campaign. <laughs> this is what I said before the stream started. It's like, I don't want to do crazy. <gasps> it's a box! It's a box. Um, that I mean, doesn't really do anything. Full of plundered. It doesn't do anything. No, it's just, just scenery. Is there anything in here? You can shoot over it. No. Oh, why are you, you picking up enemy it? tokens? Because there's enemies in here. How many? Two. Okay. Ugh. Is there nothing of value? Which means there's two. Ah. Oh. Okay. Two enemies in here. That looks like three enemies. Just what we needed. Now that guy's not in there. It, it's like, there's a bit of... You don't need to know this. Oh yeah. This is like... I, yeah, I don't. No. So, my there's two coins. Yeah, man. Two coins. That, that. Sweet. We've left three behind. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, we've not really been doing a very good job of that. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what you've done. I can now see why you're really annoyed that... Um, <laughs> when you had to pay for that vase and it was five gold. <laughs> well, no, no. At the end of the round, each gold, each gold is worth three. Oh, okay. But it's still, no, yeah, it's quite <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, money. Yeah. I haven't collected I was any. saving up that money for something that presumably cost 50, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll get some more. It's fine. This is bad, man. What are we going to do? I have no idea. Are they both guards? Yeah. So they activate this turn? Uh, yes. Oh, no. Yes. This is the problem with that. Oh the no! So if you remember the start of the I stream, I thought this would be funny. I didn't think this would annihilate me. If you start, remember the start of the stream. This was the, the specific thing I, I warned about in terms of teaching people to play the game. Let's be careful opening doors because he did warn about that. He did. Because, uh, Chris, no one wants to hear it. All right, <laughs> this can happen. Okay, you know what? I've got my frost armor still. I've got you my do. crackling air. Yeah, you get two attacks that you don't get hurt by, right? Yeah, man, we're going to annihilate these dudes. All right, <laughs> that's me casting spells. Yeah, say it with me. 
<laughs> I really was not. The level, the level of commitment there was great. I love it. Uh, um. Always, man. Always. Okay, right. So first up, and you done your whole go? <laughs> Say it. Yes. The archer. Yes, Dad. Can I get a camera on the archer? Have we got one of them. Yeah. Uh, wait. No. Oh, oh my, my feet. Oh, oh, I didn't. Oh my god. Oh my, my legs. <laughs> Is he gonna? He's not going to die that way. No, I mean, he's not going to die that way, unfortunately. But he's like, wait for me. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you. Uh, and then we have all the guards, so we're going to move and do stuff. Oh, really so um, can we do the two ones in the room? Because this is nice and easy, right? Yeah, do them first. So they step forward and step forward. They both try and hit me, but they both just knock off the two damage of the crackling armor. Or yeah. frost armor. Doesn't that just affect wall? Oh, sorry. That On the next two sources of damage, you suffer no damage instead. Got it. Sorry. Any more questions, Chris? I, ju I just wanted to, to make sure. I, I think I might have read some. I'll, I'll have another bandana. It's fine. <laughs> oh, go. yeah. Can we get... Is Brat Cam still functioning? <laughs> no, I'm out of battery. Oh, uh, okay, anyway. okay. Well, yeah, trust that I'll, I'll have one. <laughs> we'll yeah. switch another cam out for Brat at the end. Um, so, look, I feel bad for opening this door. I will attempt an additional bandana. You should wear that for not charging your battery. You hadn't actually you had no way. I had no idea. Sorry, yeah. Have... But next time, yeah, 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 I want yeah. charged batteries, my friend. Okay, just that one. Uh, and the big fat one that ran out on that. All the things that ran out of batteries. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. It's fine. Um, it's like I need to buy you a little, a little bag full of different cables and attachments and stuff now because I'm always like, you got on these? You're like, no. I'm like, right. I can find them though. I know, but I've got so many things at my house and they're not here. <laughs> yeah, some would say you have too many cables. That's never true. Okay. Uh, next up, we have the, the rest of the guards. So this guy is going to go, he, he's going to go for you. <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. Yeah. Okay, and he does how much damage? Um, Do we still pull cards out this deck for, for monsters? Yeah. Suffering no damage. But so it wouldn't matter, it didn't matter for those guys because. Yeah, okay, sure. I right. mean, like, yeah. No, it, yeah, okay. So the guy who actually hits me. Oh, double, but I've got a hat, so <laughs> I've got an iron helmet. So it's a. When attacked, consider it times zero. two or zero. Woof! So it just does three damage. Thanks, Clark. Uh, Thanks, Clark, for buying a hat. This. He's very busy. He's, yeah, he's got life. Uh, okay, woo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean like. <laughs> uh, he's a busy man right now. He's extremely he's busy. He's just got himself back into like not having like a massive project on his thing. He's out okay. there doing things. That is true. Uh, okay, so that means I just take regular damage, which is three. Right. Okay, so I get down to five. That's fine. Those two guys are equidistant from you and me. I think they're going to go for me because you look pretty. I'm pretty surrounded. Ram jammed. So these guys are going to go like here. Yep. And they're going to hit me. But that's fine because. Are you invisible still? No. I have some armor. I'm not invisible. No. Okay. But um. <sighs> but I might be in the future. Okay. So they're both gonna hit me for three damage. So first one does three, but it's minus one, so it's two. So I'm on three health, and then the second one does plus one, which means it's literally three damage, which would bring me down to zero. So don't want to do that. So I'm going to have to lose a card. I get to choose at least what my card is. What fun. Okay, I'm losing that card. So fun, I'm yeah. not taking the damage. Um, and then I'm going to... Um, Matt, I think you just drew from your own attack deck rather than the monster one. Oh, I so did. So maybe it wasn't this bad. Yeah. Let's just I'll give you a deck of shuffle. Redo. No, no, no. It's, yeah, yeah, do. Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. So the first one. Plus zero. Same as it was it before. Did. Next one miss. is a miss. Hey! Chat, saving yeah, them. Thank I'm you. Not, I, I, I help that time because I feel like I've got a lot of grief for stepping in every so often. Oh, no, I don't need to feel aggrieved. Like no, that, that's great. Thank you, Brett. <laughs> You've really saved me there. Oh, that's great. What a relief. What a beautiful relief. So that's fine. And that means I get to have a go at these guys. With my, um, are we picking cards next time? I'm still doing my go. All right, you can see yeah. why. You're always you can like, see why I'd be concerned. <laughs> Is it my go now? <laughs> yeah, it's as if I'm jazzed to. Okay, right. So I guy. am going to, um, on my melee attacks, add. I'm switching out my thing basically. So I'm going to go. Okay, now I'm no longer doing adding to shield when I do my attacks. The mind's weakness. Mm hmm. I get plus two attack now on my thing, which means I attack for one. Uh, so it's, I got an attack of three, uh, just straight up three, and I'm going to apply my poison dagger to that because why not? Um, and that's on Inet's guard number one. Screw it. Okay, now I know how to play the game. I'm looking at the deck of cards that you can augment or change your deck. Yeah. It's 
bonkers. Yep. Oh yeah. Like the amount of stuff. Yep. There's some crazy stuff in this. Like really crazy. I'm reading. Black hole. Goodness me. Um, oh, I've really made a pickle of this. This is where my cards are gone. What's happened with you, man? Um, it's fine. Uh, it just means I've put a new augment that card down. Get myself an XP, and then my second move is just I'm turning invisible again. <laughs> Great. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Uh, and you turn. It's end of turn seven, so when you go, <laughs> do we have enough standees? Um, oh, we got loads. Pots. Uh, I've picked my cards for next turn, so give me that. I can. That's all right, I'm done. All right. See ya. All right. Well, I've only got two cards again, so um, I'm just going to work it out. Okay. All right. I've chosen mine. <laughs> Let's rock and roll. Yeah. This is like a proper scrum now. I love it. Uh, oh, yeah, your options get less like. Oh, God. 69. Please, Bob. I'm 16, so you're 69. Okay. So, first of all, there's 15. It's the guards. Oh, no. uh, this is actually pretty bad for us. Oh, no, it's fine for me because I'm invisible. Um, so, the shield one and then attack three with a poison element. So, so I get, presumably I don't get three poison, I get one poison. You can only have one poison, but the first, the first poison will mean that every other attack does one more damage to ah, you. Okay, hang on, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay, I've got three, okay, so the first damage I can, <laughs> shut up, stop so, talking, I mean, stop laughing. So, you've got a, I mean, you open the door. Yeah, I know, it's just, this is so much worse. It's literally like... I'm playing completely tight for the whole game. And the first time I try and like express myself, like, you know, Matt, I'd love to just open a door. And I do. <laughs> I've bombed the entire well, there was, mission. There was already quite a lot of enemies in the room. See, it's like, it's a bit like in, um, in like, uh, XCOM? Into the Breach, I was going to say, of like kind of managing the number of enemies you're having to deal with. And right. it's like, if you've not got many enemies, open a door. If you've got lots of enemies, maybe don't open a door. <laughs> but you'll remember when I gave the rules, when I gave the super basic rules explanation in this game, the only time in that, in that part, <laughs> <laughs> that I gave any form of tip or any form of hint was specifically to do with that. You place. also said do what you want. I did because I could tell you what to do it, and I'm glad you did because this is uh, this is fun. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so <laughs> Jesus. So one of the rules for discarding a card does not take damage. Um, it's when you would take damage, you can discard a card instead. from hand um, or from yes from discard, and it has to be. I think. Can we get a chat ruling? Yeah, on this? I don't know on that. Um, so, but yeah, let's initially find out what damage they do anyway. <laughs> do I have to do? Yeah, so it's three. Zero. So okay, three. so just straight up three, initially. I can take that. Okay, we'll just take that one. First Four, of all. three, two. But now I'm also poisoned. Yeah. One, it's, it's one card from your hand or two from your discard pile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that rule. To not take any damage at all? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You open the door, Quins. Shut up! <laughs> what? Why am I getting this from AV Desk as well as give me a poison AV token? Desk. His name is Chris. I didn't. Yeah, but I, I was trying to like this. belittle him. You've got <laughs> crap in my beer. Oh, no. well, it's your game, actually. It's so my game. For once, I'm pretty chill about that. <laughs> okay, so then the next guy tries to hit me and would do three plus one for the poisons, which is four. Yep. No, he doesn't make because I discard my icy blast. And the next guy would do <laughs> four, four, five. five. But it's fine because I can discard two from my discard. Yeah. So out of curiosity, what happens if I had no discard right now? Um, Would we just g lose the game? Well, or you'd be out. Yeah, I'd be out. Yeah, like out the door. Like yeah, knockout. Like you're out. You're out. But then wouldn't I die? Like I thematically, don't run away. Like what does the manual say? Uh, yeah, no, you're like um, retired. Like, okay. Yeah, you you you're not like dead. You're just like you you run back to town town with your tail between your legs. Well, I mean, as it happens, I will be. You've got like one more round, haven't you? And that's it. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, if that. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, to be fair, we're playing on like um, a high, a slightly higher difficulty because difficulty scales with levels. Mm. So this is we're playing on difficulty where you are a level three character, where basically it is not as immediately harsh when like you're playing with level one stuff. <coughs> <coughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I kind of it assumes you have played with this deck maybe a couple of times. I don't think I've made a. I mean, you, there was the first thing you did. I was like. Oh see. really? Okay, yeah, okay, like okay. it was just the fact that it was the first thing you did when there was like, a move which like attacks a guy four away and attacks everything in between, and you did it on two guys, and I was like, that seems like no three away, I mm. know four away. Yeah, but how I was often like, do you get four people in a line? Mm, well, what, e wh true. whatever. My misplays aside, I'm gonna throw some. <laughs> no, you're not doing badly. It's Sorry, it's can we get a mark on my? <laughs> on my okay, uh, and then next up, what's, what's your number? Uh, yeah, we got we got this guy doing for the first. The archer is gonna move. Two and he's still not 
Oh, actually, it might be in range of me, but I'm invisible. One, two, three, four, five. I'm invisible, no. so it's fine. Um, and then, yep, now you can do stuff. Okay, I'm gonna throw fire. Actually, I'm up first with 16. I should have gone after them, after that guy. Okay, yeah, sorry, yeah, you go. I can't stop the bad things happening to you, I'm afraid. No, it's fine. I don't have the cards to, uh, to play next turn anyway. <laughs> That's exciting, isn't it? Oh. I feel like I've let chat down. No. I feel like I've let my family down. No. I don't feel like I've let you down because no. I mean even being on stream with me as I bring it up, but like Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's good. Everything's good, don't worry. Love that you will have now failed this mission twice. Yup, it's pretty it's pretty bad. Do you still get like XP and stuff? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you keep all the stuff you got. I think maybe apart from the treasure, the money. You don't keep the money, but you keep all the XP. Mm. Um, I think you actually got a couple. Um, so for using your frost armor, I think you might have actually gotten a bit of extra XP that you might not. Oh no, down. I took that when I first played oh, okay. the card. No, that's oh. a good catch. I, I added it early, so. Oh, okay. Not not that I'm predicting that you're about to lose this and you <laughs> want to take whatever you can get. Obviously. Dear me. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna k just try and kill some people for fun. So I'm gonna attack one with strengthen, but that's an attack three because I've buffed up with my augment. I'm gonna put that on, on num Mr. Number Five. Mr. Number Five. So that is um, four damage to Mr. Number Five. Um, <laughs> Mr. Number Five. Was that channeling Mambo Number Five? Yeah, I think so. Three, four. Um, and then I am also strengthened. Ba -ba! <laughs> That's going to stand you in good stead for the rest of this scenario. Which I believe well, it's only for one turn strengthened, but I think it just gives you an uh, advantage. Um, yep, I think it does. Okay. So, so I, I've got advantage, and now it means are you ready for this? I'm going to punch this guy right at, straight out of dodge. Uh, I'm doing uh, <laughs> attack don't you punch him back three, into the nettles. and then it's got like a stun attack as well. So it means I've got an attack of five. Plus one, six. six. He's only Goodness. got five health, so he's stunned as well, but he's just dead. He's absolutely he's toast. Just absolutely Can I drop him yeah. in the cup? Pam. So I just bashed that guy. So we killed Straight like... Straight flat out. Maybe six things? Uh, no, maybe yeah, five. no, we killed six. We killed six things. So actually we're only... I'm going to do so much damage this turn as well. Yeah, well, yeah. I have to lose another card randomly. Are you out? Have you got one more turn? Uh, I've got these two cards. This is kind of in play, so it's neither in my discard... <laughs> Neither lost nor discarded. It's yeah, just that's inexistent. You know, you think about it. Uh, oh, I think you can treat that as a discard. Actually, if it's active cards, <laughs> I love that. So I you, love the so way you might be able to. That's, I love that he's never, never played, played this. this. He's never played this game, but now he's like a pro. It's, <laughs> it's like all of these rule addendums. Uh, you can just I, sit here and run this. You know, we. Uh, I'm trying, I like that might give you in for another. I think it does. Uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, it's a moon. Actually, uh, <laughs> okay. What's that? It's a moon? It's a moon, actually. That was a thing that was from a pub quiz many, many years ago. Oh, from, from, in, this is not a media No, 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 no. Like. It's just, it was it was mentioned in regular features a lot by Gav because it was a story that was really funny. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, It's just right. stuck in my head now. It's just a thing. Uh, I'm going to hit all three of these guys around me with a fire orb. But it... <laughs> no, it's crazy how much I've been misjudging the pace of my deck compared to yours because like, I could still keep playing for like... I'm burned out. Yeah, it's yeah. hilarious. You're just like... I'm I would have had at least two more turns. I think you did a thing where you re bought your lost cards back and it wasn't like the last thing you did. No, the rest was in my discard. Because uh, half goes in the last, half goes in the discard. So it's eight cards, but then I only ever burn four. Do you have four back? So it's not actually that big, which puts my total deck size at like 12. Yeah, but it's I only think it's still minimum. like, because I get, yeah, I think it's because more of mine, I don't lose stuff. Basically every card, I, well, no, that's not true. But almost every card in my deck uh, is gone forever. Okay, so uh, fire orbs. Let's do. Gonna do three plus one from the crackling air, which is four damage. Gain one experience for each target. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so here we go. Uh, attacking guard number. What's your number? Because sixty-nine. Well, oh, is this still your? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. I haven't actually gone yet. Sorry, ignore me. Don't look at that screen. That's the next round. But okay. Don't look at that. Uh, are the guard numbers correct? Yep. Okay. Hitting guard four. It's times two, baby. That's eight damage. What? I'm not crap, what? honestly. I just opened the door. That guy is straight up dead. Boom! 
as a fire orb. Okay. Imagine if I kill enough people this turn. We can we actually still do this. Like, it's not insane. Is it really? Yeah. Okay, like, I'm hyped. We've killed seven people. We just need to kill three more people. I'm going to drink so much brandy while you finish the mission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, then guard number three. Ah, oh, it's minus two. That's less good. That's two damage to guard number three. Mm, okay. And then guard number two, plus zero. So that's four damage to guard number two. Okay, they're all pretty softened up. Uh, then I've got move four. Yeah, I'd, I'd get out of there if I were you. Uh, How much health you got? Uh, two. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably move towards the archer. You're probably safer doing that. One. Can I not two, three, four? Can I not go there? Yeah, then? that's not a bad idea, because they'll probably hit me first. And that goes here. So crackling it goes there, and that gets me an XP. And then uh, so that can count as a discard, says Chris. So then next turn, I would actually short rest and have one card in hand? You can't have one card in hand. Okay. That was your last turn. <laughs> well, it was a good turn, though. I was one shot at a guy. It was pretty great, man. Uh, great. All right, so I'm going <laughs> to... And peace out of the front door. Right. Collapse, crawl into a bush. Okay, well, it's, I'm just going to do my next turn then, because I've already put these people up. Number 15 is the guards. Unfortunately, I'm no longer now uh, invisible, which is annoying. Those guys are looking vaguely But the guards are just shielding and retaliating this turn, so they're not doing anything. And then the archer's going to go after me. He's going to move three and then attack. But I am this turn now going to jump spring into life with because I've realized I've misjudged my uh, the pace of my deck. I am now going to start like kicking Destroying some ass. Things. Yeah, I'm going to kick some ass. Okay. So um, I'm going to... I'm going to. <laughs> the curious and like banner and stream. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not mic, they can't hear me. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah. He was just, Quinns was just saying, a curiously barren stream. <laughs> and he's quite right. Hopefully, people have still been having some fun watching us lose our minds. Okay. Hmm. What a puzzle. So you need to kill how many to to make to turn this around? <laughs> three. Three. Okay. How's that? How's that feeling? Looking down at those cards. Um. Rat. 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 Like <laughs> it's kind of all right. Like I think I'm all right. So first of all, right. Screw this. First of all, I'm gonna go attack for range four, and then heal four. All the fours, baby, um, which means I'm back on seven health, in good health, and my attack has, oh, it's only on a melee attack, actually, so it's just a, just an attack of four, um, and that's going to go on number six. So number six is one, one two, three, four, and then my, um, I'm going to use my fearsome blade, which is move four, attack two, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Wow. I'm going to attack him for two, which is again plus two, so it's four. Um, and. Goodness. Yeah, actually, I think I've refreshed that, so might as well use it again. Use my poison blade again, and it's four minus one, so it's three. So three and poison on six. Uh, two, three. It's almost dead. It is almost dead. Um, and then, oh no, there's, actually those guys, that guy will retaliate now for uh, like two points. That's fine. I can take it. I can take it. All right. Okay. Then new turn. New turn. And I'm turn nine, so a guard spawns. But there's a guard currently in the space. So. Yeah, so we can't. That's my rule. It's like the pipe, the, the nah. enemy pipes from. Nah, he's going to go there. Let's be oh, real. Okay, Let's that, be real. Come on. I mean, that, like, I mean, I'd like to be like, it doesn't happen, but it definitely does happen. You can do this, man. I believe I can do this. I, I need to kill three. Is it three more guys still? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Help does the archer have? Uh. <laughs> this is, there's something about playing a board game this big with a laptop that just feels 
It's so decadent. It's pretty dumb, right? But good. All right, I'm playing two. My number is 14. Do you want to click the little round button? There. Oh, no, hang on, because we need to work out what their numbers are. Which, what am I clicking on? Oh, the little round thing at the bottom. That? The, no, the refresh thing. That? The, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a beep there, please, Chris? Oh, there we go. 44. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going first then. And guess what I'm doing? I'm attacking for a value of five. Wow. Your fridge is two. <laughs> Ten. Okay, Who that guy's dead. You just nuked. Number six. So that's that guy. Oh, yeah, 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 I go two. with no health. No way. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But he's dead. And then put a coin down. Two enemies and... left. And then I'm going invisible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so uh, then the elite archer will move one, uh, then attack, but he can't target you. And then the other guards will move two and attack three. So they move towards you? Yeah, even though they can't. Um, I think they do anyway. But they can't attack me. They're all. Oh, this is great. Look, avenge me. Go on! I'm so glad the guy who did the Gloomhaven review has a chance for like proper glory. Mm hmm. Go on, son. Come on, right. Go on! And now it's the next turn again. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Same button. <laughs> Shut up. It's <laughs> far away. So, excellent. It's 30 and 32. Those guys move again. Move three. Attack. Do you have your cards One. picked? Yeah, yeah. I've only got two cards. One, two, three. This is why it does speed up towards the end of a round of Gloomhaven because you don't have cards to choose from. Uh, but they then... can't attack me because I'm still invisible because it's Whoa! not been my turn yet. And then More hacks. 32. It's the archer it's... moves two. And then again. Oh, this is pretty great, man. Anything. And then, ah, I'm not invisible now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Why don't you kill um, someone? Uh, just so you know, I'm keeping an eye on this. The archer has like extremely little. He only has four health. Uh, but there's a guard. Guard number two. It's all the guys I exploded with my... So okay, so I'm going to play this as a normal attack card, which means um, these should be, actually, hang on, I've made a mistake here. These should be, uh, no, they're there. What the piss did I do with those cards? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, they're here. There can't be that many. I didn't, see them, because, I didn't see them because of glare. No, they're, no, they're not. Okay, no, they're there. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sorry. I've lost my momentum there. <laughs> it's been a long week. Okay, so I'm gonna play that as a normal attack, right? Which means that's a normal attack, but I get my plus two, which means... Jeez. So that's an attack of four. You're an amped and up psychotic murderer. And do I want this on four or... Uh, Can you scroll up and scroll one. down? One is pretty weak. One has only got four health, but what's the other guy got? Uh, what's, scroll down. Uh, it doesn't scroll anymore. I might have accidentally minused someone. Okay. Um, uh, maybe you, maybe I'm, four hasn't been added yet. Maybe which means he's got full health. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, attack number one then. Yeah. Means I've got a tally. Attack relief. Oh, I should reshuffle these. Oh, I can do it. Okay. Do it. Yes, sir. But this is going to do four damage. Yeah, four damage and then something. Okay. So I would pull. <laughs> Say when. Just when. Okay. Mm, cut. It. Plus two. Six Plus damage. Two. Hey! That's, that guy is he's dead. He's dead! Yeah, that guy's dead. You only have to kill one more person! Yeah, that's exactly... One, two, three, he four, had five, six, six health. That is, that's pretty great. Not anymore! And then, well, how much has number two got? Uh, five. Because I hit him with fireball. That was me. I'm pretty great. Not that great. Okay. Because I had to leave. Okay. I, another engagement. Um, now I'm going to go move three push and then two. push two. So I'm just going to go there. And then go, ah, uh, two. One, two. You can push multiple targets, push two? Yeah, that pushes everyone around me, all adjacent enemies. Which means that guy, um, number two, two lost two health. Lost two health. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Okay, that is... Um, now you need to do a short rest? Now I need to do a short rest. I'm so excited. I'm more, this is more exciting now. The pace is picked up. If we could actually win, there's a lot to lose. A guard's about to spawn, by the way. Uh... Yes, that's true. Okay, and I'm losing my frigid apparition. People have said that about me for a long time. You're <laughs> losing. Um, you don't have the frigid apparition you once did, Matthew. Oh no. You've lost that frigid apparition. I think this might be my last turn. Oh god. Okay, you basically need to do three damage to guard number two. However, he is three spaces away from you. His rat sculpt is great. It's just a knife in one hand and then two fingers on her forehead going, Aah! it implies like she's not necessarily that good at psychic stuff. She just puts a lot of effort in. 
which I appreciate. It's like me. Not great at psychic uh, damage. But it's not true, actually. I get I get two more goes. Mm. Just. Okay. I'm going to go for my mad cheese technique. Oh, God. Don't do 14. it. 14. What's the... Oh, that, is that, oh you no, I haven't. Okay. 15. <laughs> you just before them. Okay, right. So, is that bad? Um, no, actually, no, I got it right. It's fine. Um, Can you shoot number two? <laughs> just don't do this to me, man. We've come so far. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm going invisible <laughs> again. But that's the bottom half of that card. No, I know, because I'm not moving. But then I'm, sh I'm replacing my mind's weakness card with the silent scream as an augment, which means, um, which means my melee attacks now heal to range this two. This isn't what I want to hear, man. I want to hear that you're going to uh, kill a guy. There's one guy left to kill. Hang on, no, this is not what I meant to do. It doesn't seem it. Uh, it's fine. I made a mistake. Red but it's fine. Yeah, I'm retconning that slight thing, because uh, I've misremembered what I wanted to do. I'm using the invisible <laughs> one just to do with move two. But actually, that's not enough, is it? Hang on. Uh, what's this guy got? You could move two and dive into the thorn bush. That's a terrible idea. To shank him. Not if you kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not insane, actually. Dive okay. into the thorns. I'm diving into the thorns. You're a rat. So I'm taking two damage to dive into the thorns. Yes. And then I'm trying to shank, should I stab this guy. And he's got, so that's an attack of uh, four. Where do you, how do you, hang on, hang on, I have a question. Are you moving and then attacking? Yeah. Can you do the bottom half, then the top half? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I told Dude! You, I told you you had to just do one of each. I know, but I always, I think I, uh, I swear you I asked you at some point if I had to do the top, then the bottom. My whole, so for, for the record, for the internet watching this, for that whole game, I was only ever playing top, then bottom. <laughs> which is why I wasn't always in the best position to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I didn't notice that. No, I, I, no, I didn't. I yeah, didn't. that's why I'm often in like crap situations and couldn't do my attacks. But, well, okay, okay. That would have changed <laughs> the entire game. But, you know, no, you can choose. You can choose. I feel like the chat enjoyed that, that revelation a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I love how angry you are. That's yeah, I could have, it makes, the, it gives me more choices. It gives me hey, more options. But guess what I just did? What did you just kill a man? Great. I haven't played the game. Oh, well, come on! <laughs> you did pretty good for your first we game. We did pretty good. There we you go. Did it. We completed. We won the scenario. We won the scenario and we didn't even have to go into the back room. What was in the back room? Can I find out? Uh, mm. No, spoilers. Yeah, we, but because of how Gloomhaven is structured, I am never going to do that mission again. Oh man, it's a pretty fun spoiler though. I'm gonna, I'll tell you about that after the stream because um, I've seen this before actually because we went into the back room last time I played this and it's interesting. Oh really? Yeah, so I'm not gonna read it out because there might For be... For people who might do the mission yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, it's okay, actually okay. pretty cool. So what happens now? What's the upkeep? What's our reward? Conclusion. Can I read it? Yeah, I haven't done anything for a while. <laughs> uh, running through the... Oh, this is a bit dark. Have you read this? Uh, no. Running through the forest, fleeing the smell of burning flesh, you now find more than enough opportunity to contemplate your actions. How your actions sit with you must be visible on your face as you meet once more with Jexera, this time in her manner. She hands you a sack of coins with a frown. They were thieves and mer you just adjusting your XP there. Yep. <laughs> that seems at odds. <laughs> RPGs, RPGs, man. It's RPGs, how it works. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to go back to it. <clears throat> Sorry. <sighs> they were thieves and murderers, she says blankly. They deserve what you gave them. And that is all I will say of the matter. I have one more task I would like you to perform. I require a diamond of considerable size for a customer, but I cannot find one anywhere in the city. There is a diamond mine, <laughs> however. You stop reading ahead, I hate, you don't read it. <laughs> Sorry. In the southern mountain, well, no, I'll just read it now if that's what you want. No, however, no, no. in the southern, no, it's fine, don't worry about it, it's cool. There is a diamond mine, however, in the southern mountains, long since lost to wilderness. I've heard reports that it is now overrun with vermlings. Yes. That's, you're a vermling. I am a vermling. Mind your mouth. overrun with vermlings. <laughs> this is kind of what I like about this game. You'll have people talk like that and you're like, uh, excuse me. Uh, it's now overrun with vermlings, no doubt with some other more intelligent force behind them. Ooh. 
I don't like this woman. If you can fight your way in and grab the biggest diamond you can find, I'll give you a considered or considerable reward. Number nine. Mm. So we put sticker number nine on the map? Yeah, sticker number nine on the map. That's uh, how it works. Now, leave me in peace. Jexera's two massive Enox bodyguards step forward, directing you to leave the manor. Outside, contemplating your new task, you hear a small voice behind you. She's not looking for profit, you know. That's a mystery. She's not looking. She's for not profit. looking for profit. Mm. So maybe some kind of power mad merchant. Mm. I think this woman's up to no good. She's being disrespectful of like multiple. I think she's up to no good. Oh Isn't no! It? Hang on. It carries on. What? Oh, okay. Oh, so. You turn around to see a female quatrill step out of the alley beside. Je Do you know what a quatrill is? No. Step out of the alley beside Jack Sarah's house. She's clad in dark leather armor and holds a conspicuous contraption full of whirring gears and topped with a conical metal piece connected to a tube. Our geese, city guard, she says, introducing herself. I know, I don't exactly look the part, but if anyone isn't what they appear to be, it's that Valrath you've been talking to. Sure, she's a merchant, but she's up to something far more sinister. She's been trying to overthrow the military in Gloomhaven for as long as I've been here. And we're all very curious about what her current machinations are. Look, you can go do her bidding if you like, like a good little puppy. But if you'd rather actually help this town keep the peace and not get overrun by the wilds, I have a different idea. We'll get to the bottom of Jexero's plans and expose her for who she really is. I'm also going to add mission number eight. Oh! Just so new locations, Gloomhaven Warehouse and Diamond Mine. Party achievement, Jexero's plans. Rewards, 15 gold each and plus one prosperity. Yeah, baby! Gold! I'm out of here! <laughs> Where are you going to the toilet? I'm rich! No, I'm just going to go and get the things to mark on my map. What's the achievement Jexera's plans? It goes on the map, doesn't it? But like, we just, that would seem like a very unimportant mission. Uh, well, it wasn't, because it's obviously... <laughs> okay. Achievements aren't really like achievements. They're like, um, they're, they're called global achievements, which is very video game terminology. But basically the way it works is that, um, oh, is, um, it means that there's certain missions where it'll be like prerequisite, you haven't got this, or prerequisite, you have got this. Right. So it means like, you can't do a mission unless you have a certain achievement. So it's basically a way of like ga gauging how far you are through the story. Number eight and nine. Yep, you can find them. Uh, that's not neither of those, so it's just not those ones. All right, I'll get the stickers, man. You can put them on. And Jexera's, what's it called? Jexera's... Uh, Jexera's plans. Oh, it's fun being... I'm, I'm glad I got to be with you for some stickering as well. That's cool. Oh, maybe Jexera's plans is not a um, sticker one. No, it's probably just something you write somewhere. Oh, oh it's on the sh it's on the what's it called? It's on the um, there's a special sheet for the that's party. Oh, okay. You fill it on the party sheet. Okay. I'm gonna put a Woo! warehouse. Never been more excited to put a warehouse on a place. Party sheet, party, party sheet. Oh, here's my pencil. There we are. I knew there's a pencil there somewhere. Ah, no, I dropped the... Ah, oh, no, 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 Matt, don't look. It's fine. Oh, what have you done? I dropped a sticker, but I fixed it. Look at that. There's a nice warehouse you can visit. Oh, yeah. And it's in the city of Green. There's a warehouse you can visit if you like. And then number Oh, yeah, nine. so we've got achievements here as Jaxera's... What's it called? Jaxera's... Oh, gosh. Jaxera's plans. Plans, okay, yeah. Because I've also got the achievements, a demon's errand. I can't remember what the errand was. How, it's been a long time. how do you find? Oh, it's like an advent calendar. Goodness. It is like an advent calendar. Look at that! I put some stickers on your map. Oh wait, wait, wait! I have a really good pen for this as well. Oh, look. Which mission we just did? The Enox encampment. Can I do the X? Yep. Can we get a nice? Is that sorry? This is okay. Nice. Yes, man. Done, mate. Done. That makes... Also, did we get prosperity number plus one as well? Yes. Awesome. So what, isn't that the slider? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's our, is that just like total money the party has? So yeah, the prosperity level, um, it means that like, when you get to like, I think when you get to prosperity level two, something happens, but it's more that like, um, I think it means prosperity affects the prosperity of the town, which affects the quality of the items available, but it also affects like the level of new characters. So it means if you open a new character box, then it means that that character will come in. If once you get to two, it means any new character box you get will come in at level two or level whatever. It's funny because like, this is just such an example of like how board games are really weird because the, the we just played like quite a good intense card game. And this is like right? fluff, yeah. but it's fluff that 
really brings everything yep. up yep. to yep. such a crazy level. It does. It just, I mean, that's the thing is it just amplifies it. And it's also the fact that like the, the characters are quite cool, but then you do really get into it. Like there's a lot of like, it's nuts how much depth there is, but also it's so cool knowing that even though I can go really deep on this character, I'm more excited to go deep on this character because I'm choosing to when actually there's loads more characters I could be playing. Well, that's the thing. You, you, you go deep on it as well. And the fact that you might get to level nine and you've got all those cards to keep playing with. So like, <laughs> it's the mad thing of like, I've just played the Mind Thief. I've not played anyone else, but I, I still haven't seen half the cards I could add to my deck. By the end of the game, playing with the Mind Thief, by the end of the Mind Thief's campaign, my deck could be completely different. Yeah. So it's like, it does just feel like you could keep doing it. And by the time you get bored of that character, hey, you get a new one now. Yeah. And then it's just got just as much depth. And possibly more, because I'm guessing the characters you unlock afterwards, like they've got more license to be completely mad because you know. And there's an game. expansion coming. It's, it's crazy, right? <laughs> it's, 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 there's nothing quite like it, but it is legitimately like, it's wild, right? It's wild, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, really interesting. It's yeah. really cool. But it's like, I feel like you often do this when I show you a cool game and you're like, this is amazing, but like, you don't necessarily feel the need to own it. No. Like, I had a great time tonight. I mean, owning Gloomhaven, you owning Gloomhaven would be so dumb. Yeah, like if I played Gloomhaven, you'd I just never wouldn't play. You'd never get a chance to play it. Yeah. Like, not... If you want to play it again, like, you can play mine again. Like, it's, it's really fun. This is the sort of game, though, if I didn't do this as a job, I, just, I just, might just play this for like a year. So like, this is an achievement, the ancient technology thing, but it's got more strips. So you, yeah. could, like, you could get more ancient So we, we had a card that was like really good. Someone just found like an ancient cog, and they got it in their inventory, and it was worth like 50 gold, and you just sell it for like 50 gold. And then you get the achievement. Which is, like, it was like the second mission, 50 <laughs> gold. It's like, whoa. But it means every piece of... But it means you find more ancient technology, and then when you found more, something will happen. Or hey, something. by the way... I did my mission. Oh, I completely forgot about my mission. My mission was to loot five or more money. I didn't do that. <laughs> my mission, indigent, loot no money. <laughs> and ah, get no treasure. Two ticks. Uh, so yeah, that means I've unlocked another perk. I would have been closer to doing that. I should have done that. I got one coin. But I was I was actually trying to like help because it felt like the wizard lady was letting the side down a little bit. It's because she, it's because I was playing. She didn't understand the rules. <laughs> well, look, wizard lady is now. <laughs> this is how much I like this game, right? Wizard lady is still going to spend the perk and customize the deck. But go back in the box, even though I'm probably never going to play with her again. Yeah, but I'm desperate to improve her. Yeah, and then you've got like the item shop where it's like it's a bit like um, Imperial Assault where you've got the money and you can spend that on. And items. I add 16 XP plus yeah, anything 16 else. XP. Yeah, XP. Just the just no, this. Uh, well, you get actually we got eight XP for completing the mission. So twenty. So I got eighteen four. XP. So I've got um, one. Two, hey, guess what? I leveled up. Four. Did you? I'm now level four. <laughs> that's crazy. Ninety nine XP. Oh no, that's not. Level, I got, that's not level I got four. seventy five. You need one hundred and fifty to be level four. Uh, wait, but then level three would have been 95. Uh, okay, yeah. Level three when you hit... Oh, so I'm only level two. Yeah. So okay. you shouldn't be... Oh, it's Whoops. fine. It's fine. Also, you're writing on it with a pen. I know! I saw I have! Look, let's end the video before people realise I'm writing on a legacy <laughs> game with a pen. It's Thank fine. You very there, much. Is, there is multiple things for different characters. Yeah, so. right. In case you want to play the same character three times, what is happening? No, someone else can play the character. I know! It's just, there's so much content. Thank you very much for watching <laughs> a brief... Like sticking a toe <laughs> into the, the the lake that is Gloomhaven. That's like a little a little bit of Gloomhaven. Yeah, it's good. A solid chance. I just want to play it now again. <laughs> not now, not right now, but just generally. It's okay. It's great. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll be thank back you. On our stream in a couple of weeks, it'll be uh, the Christmas stream next, so we'll have Ooh. some really crazy stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, keep an eye on that. That thank should be a lot of fun. Very much for watching what has probably been an extremely long video. Yeah, I think so. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.